Um, hold on. I got an echo for. What? Someone, Someone gives an, an echo for me, but I guess that's not working. Oh, just just oh, mute the, uh, the, mute the Chrome tab. Off. Okay, there yeah, we go. I got it. it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'll send you the link. <laughs> We're gonna troll everyone. This is just gonna be a building stream. <laughs> do you have the link to the stream? Did you? Um, send it's it? it's loading. Hold on. Whoa. It takes a second. Have you turned on, on subs on. only chat so we can abuse subscribers? That's a good idea. I like that idea. <laughs> How do you even do that? Huh? Uh, I I can do it. That would be kind of fucked. There's what? No, no you just set it to like you have to be subscribed instantly. instantly. There's no I waiting period. Oh, sub mode. I thought you meant members mode. I'm thinking. No, not, not members, members mode. mode. I'm not the wrong. Okay. Jesus. All right, the link's in the chat. Cool. I posted. We go to. You're waiting for this? Are we still, still live? live? That's good. Can they hear me? Yeah, they can. Um, I'm just moving the YouTube chat stuff. Oh, oh is, is my, my voice, voice echoing? echoing? Finn? Oh, it's it's me. It's me. It's fixed. Yeah, okay, cool. Did you not mute your Chrome tab? It was desktop audio. That was me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an amateur. Trust me. Sure, sure. I... Oh. Don't listen to him. Oh, <laughs> people recognize my voice. I'm so proud. <laughs> you go. You won't believe who's not here again. <laughs> no, he actually has a valid reason. No, he doesn't. <laughs> all right, all right, ready, ready, ready. I'm so ready. Everybody Crap, ready? Am I live? To thousands. We could sit here for another minute. I mean, I, I'm I'm good. Yeah, I'm, We're I'm, I'm just man. sorting out this. So. Can you say hi to me? Hi. Hi, dubs. How? All right, ready? No, I'm fine. I'm good to go. I'm just... Uh... Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to episode 12 of um, yes. the only GD podcast that isn't the famous Cincy podcast. And today we have an amazing guest who is widely considered to be one of the best creators, one of the uh, most understanding of composition and uh, artistic application, yep. subjectively, Kulluk. I hope I said uh, that right. I don't yeah, think anyone yeah. mispronounces your name. That would be the first question. How, How are you do you doing? say your name? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good question. Um, there really isn't like a hard and fast way it needs to be said. Most people just say Kulak, and that works for me. How are you doing? Good, doing how good? are you guys? I'm pretty good. Um, a, a lot of the topic material was very last minute because I kind of fucked off last night. I was just playing Roblox, <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot I have to do that. But we're here. We're good. I wrote it all down, and uh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to let Finn take it from here. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do nothing now. Have I'm fun. sorting out my tab layout. Hang nope, on. not an excuse. I'm trying to get the screen in the corner. Okay, wait, no, it's nearly done. I'm done, I'm done. Should I pin the message? My yeah, mouse isn't working. Hang on, let me switch mice. Your mouse isn't working. I thought I was <laughs> How did you even working. do that? Look at this shit. <laughs> um, all right. So, look, we're going to start with the first question. Mm -hmm. So, it's about creating. Okay. <laughs> To pull the plug, <laughs> holy shit! I don't know. I, I don't know if I can help uh, you with that, man. <laughs> so, like, can you? Yeah. You can start... you go to part in my level? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a pro. Wait, raise F no Okay, here we go. So, did you like start the game wanting to create? Were you always wanting to do that, or um, were you was... at a mix? It was pretty early on that I got interested in creating. Um, right. It's kind of funny when I. Originally, I was not really interested in the game. My, I have two little brothers, and they played it all the time, and I just always saw them raging at, like, electrodynamics and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I don't need that type of game. But eventually, my friends got it, so I was like, all right, all right, I'll get it. And this was, like, a little before 1.9, and at that point, I was just, like, casual. Like, I just you know, played whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. But eventually, 
after I beat like just the main levels, I got into creating. I never really kept playing much after beating the main levels, besides like a few easy demons. I just realized like how weirdly organized these questions are. I kind of just wrote them down. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to go chron chronological or anything. Damn, I don't even know what to ask first. I, I have a lot of interesting things I wrote down. You know well, what? Okay, I'm gonna do this one first. We go down because... the list just as normal. So no, I want to so do. I want to do this you, one first because it is so funny. When you go so please read a question, and then I don't know if we've had it yet. No, no, no. I this is so funny. I, I'm sure he's gonna be like, "How the fuck do you know that?" So, do you remember in 2018 when a fake Lithofusion asked you if you made this remake of Killbot? Yes, yes, I do remember. What that happened was to so that? Funny. What happened to that? <laughs> Lost the time, I, found it I in guess. Group chat. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy that that shot. still exists. That's crazy. Yeah, that was that was that was actually so funny. I was like obsessed with Kill by the time. I thought it was so cool. I just wanted to make something just like it. I think I was just like, "Gee, yeah. this guy says he's he's Lithofusion. Must be, must be him." <laughs> must be. I used to talk to that guy pretty regularly, and then he was like. Blue, you want to hear something? I'm like, what? What? What is it? He's like, I'm not actually Lithy Fusion. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> Why just did were not you care. pretending to be Lithy Fusion? Wait, so I forgot what his name was. When was this revelation? Like, because I thought I was talking to Lithy Fusion, but it was like this is this is when Lithy was like gone. Oh. This is after he quit. I think it was after Requiem. I think he released Requiem, then quit. And then there was this guy yeah. pretending to be him on Discord, and we would just call. I, mean, I, got I don't even remember so who it hard. was. <laughs> I want to know what that level looked like because I found a link, but it was private. Shoot, I don't. It it was. <laughs> let's be real. It was not that good. It was. Dude, it was you should just remake it now. Me what would too. you even call it? Oh God, <laughs> that's a good question. I, it would actually be pretty fun to to remake that. It's it's such a fun style, especially with like the new 2.2 glitch effects and stuff. Oh yeah, isn't there a remake of it called? Um... Oh my god! No wait, that's a remake of Chaotic Machine. What? What of Killbot? Mm -hmm. What Killbot DX? The remastered version. Is that a thing? Let's see if Lithofusion. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, that changes. like that the was... like the deluxe edition. Yeah. Like a VIP yeah, version yeah, yeah. of a song. Rep I don't oh, yeah. Requiem DX. I didn't like Requiem DX. Yeah, I, I don't even know. It was yeah. the same thing, but it was just a bunch of like gory art added to it. I wasn't like I don't know, I I was just okay, cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it looks I remember like. seeing that, but I don't remember what I thought of it actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So speaking of your uh, creative prowess. And how you are widely regarded as one of the most understanding of composition when it comes to the editor. How would somebody like you gauge your creative process? Like, does the finished product always differ heavily from what you had in mind? Or do you just kind of roll with it until you just have something that you can work with? It, it definitely is inconsistent. Sometimes I like open the editor and I'm like, okay. This is this is what I want to do. And then that just kind of happens. But a lot of the time it is the kind of thing where I start out with one idea. I don't I don't really get it right. And so I have to change my idea. And then that kind of happens, you know, 50 times over until I have something <laughs> entirely new. <laughs> that actually makes me wonder what part in a level did you have to remake the most times? Oh god. Because like you is... just weren't satisfied <laughs> or the host was like, this sucks. Definitely. Um my part in catharsis years ago <laughs> oh my god you did not just bring that up i did oh my I did. god Catharsis. you had a the part classic. in hold on oh my god i forgot that level was so sick maybe Dude, I'm that level, level has so level much charm cool. i refuse the first to... thing i see when i search for it is catharsis part version three yeah <laughs> no no you don't understand what's this intro is so you don't blend the intro dude that intro was oh, sick sorry. i gotta bring it back Dude, didn't <laughs> verify oh my god it was such a strange time the such walls a... yeah. i forgot about that level completely that was like that was like the, the wood kid rival right yeah yeah it was oh my and god. it was, was like so much better <laughs> it oh no did i yeah. it was it was a little rough around the edges i think i think wood kid had it beaten some of the 
polishing, right. but I like the see style. If, let's see if people listening agree with us about if this is mm. a epic or not. So <laughs> I want people to keep in mind that this was made at the same time as Woodkit. And I okay. love this level to death because of its charm, like Kolik said. Which part's yours? Right. Oh, mine's like some like whoa, it's, it's whoa, like whoa. squash in the middle. We're gonna get copyright strikes. Wait, you have a video of it? No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, who... We've used Dexon before. Have we? Okay. Well, I, can... I mean, if we want to be safe, I can I only should 14 seconds. Oh whatever. It's, it's You're done cooked, at this bro. Point. You're done. Yeah, I'm fuck. Done. I've made grave well, mistake. Done done. This is the grave mistake he was talking about. No, I about. sent that in part individually. Podcast. I, is I found an. I, I found another one. But it's 1080p. No. <laughs> I found your video of your catharsis part. To be graced by that. my beautiful intro. Yeah, I'm. I'm I like your dude. I had an intro like this when I was like 10. <laughs> oh, same. I'm mine still on my channel. That's 600 views. Yeah, I kind of just blue balled the whole audience into like showing 14 seconds of it. Yeah, <laughs> I remember this intro, part. Like went around the ILL as a gif for like ages. And this part has some walls. Whoa. <laughs> on your phone. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you can see the beginnings yeah. of lightning. <laughs> you you got to finish like... Chaotix Wave. <laughs> Oh, dude, Chaotix Wave that is level, like, oh my God. has a special place in my heart. I need to bring it back. Dude, I had a copy of a really finished version, but I lost it like several years ago. I think uh, Ozzy gave me a copy. I wish you still had it, dude, because I lost it. Like, I, I think I, I asked you, remember? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I asked you if you had a copy, and you're like, no. I wanted to like continue working on it so bad, but the my phone actually broke and the unlisted levels purge happened like at almost the same time. And so all like copies of the level were just, I definitely like, have a copy of it somewhere. Dude, if you ever find that you got, you got it. It's missing it. a lot of stuff. It's just the layout with like the, the OG deco before. Oh you my God. Started. Even take that. No, you guys yeah, don't understand. Was... This is the level ever. <laughs> that was it still uses, a lot to uh... learn at this point. It uses yeah. that one F777 song. I love that song still. God. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Let's Stomp. Let's Stomp, yeah. Oh, that shit part does go hard, to be fair. This was called, I, it was called Sonic Wave 2, I think, before Chaotix Wave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the end screen was, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Originally, it was a Sonic what? Wave level. Ready, exactly. ready? Just go straight to the right. There's no way Dude, it, it, gets, it gets so hard. <laughs> it gets so <laughs> fucking what? hard. This, is this like, level was this just straight up mid, impossible. This is mid 2018 and it was easily the top one. So fucking hard out of nowhere. Why does it just have like VSC difficulty waves? <laughs> no, you don't understand. The second half, the the last wave, oh my god, I you can't even play it. Dude, it's just a one gap wave. <laughs> I still think it oh doesn't even look that bad. Like the, top the parts one we that deserve. are developed no, don't look that bad. You're just conditioned to like nine circles. <laughs> I mean, me, I know this is like this is not even that bad. No, but like, it's oh my so god, messy. I forgot how long it is. Well, I mean, it's 2018. I think everything was messy back then. Mm -hmm. it doesn't help that I'm also recording on like iPhone quality and stuff too. <laughs> Dude, I I remember wanting that texture pack with the rainbow icons so bad back then. <laughs> Because it was uh, like, because it was like Tosh Deluxe, but not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Zara Deluxe. This oh, this level was a... this went so hard. Yeah, this this this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? It's not that hard. Not a that lot hard. left. Oh no, it's free. Dude, if I could find, if I could like sit, if I could sift through my shit and find it, like I would, but Jesus. <sighs> I love that level. <laughs> it's never <laughs> going to come out, but I love it. That brought tears to my eye. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that oh was God. that was like the beginning of like my genuine effort as a creator. Is there a there level? Was... Are there any levels that you're surprised that don't have remakes? Is there a level mm -hmm. that like just is so obvious in need of one? There's got to be something. That's a good question. Hmm. 
Because I know that a lot of levels have had attempted remakes like Lunar Demise and mm. Riot's Demise, Cyclic's Demise. Riot's Demise. I guess I'm surprised Jesus. Woodkid hasn't been remade since that one never actually got its mm. full like debut. Mm. No I'm sure everyone would be. Anymore. I'm sure everyone would just point at you and be like, "Can you remake it, <laughs> now, please, <laughs> dude? Uh, why haven't you remade it yet? Hello." Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I that level is just—it's a classic. I don't even know how you would go about remaking it. Oh, are you no, as sad actually, as we know are is, about? You know, I am surprised didn't get a remake. <clears throat> are you as sad uh, as we are about the fact? Sorry. Are you, are, you are you talking? I thought you were done. So then oh, I... I'm not done, bro. I'm still <laughs> I'm conversing. I was saying I'm surprised um a bizarre phantasm. Sure I that hasn't got a remake. Mm. That True. needs one. That'd be so hard. True. That was the original like limbo keys level. Yeah. I mean kind of. Dude, how long how long do you think until limbo gets a remake? It's probably already um, been done by someone. <laughs> someone really? I'm sure like someone's some already remaking it. it. I'm sure someone's got to have. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, it exists. It's called. <laughs> yeah, but it's called no, Her Herculaneum. Herculaneum. Uh, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Creators: Wuji two seven three, not Luke H, Sorext Space thirty four, Zyphonox, Malayla GD, Robocoin, oh. G Dan, LGD. LGD icon? What's this blockbuster lineup right here? <laughs> Niv Siv. <laughs> <laughs> Zuckus. Freddy yeah, Dash. If you think about it, Limbo's like pretty much as close as we've gotten to an ABP. Okay, okay. I want to show this on screen. It's just don't, basically but, the same level. Yeah. I'm going to show this Limbo remake, but don't harass these people. Yeah, guys, we don't endorse any harassment of bad Limbo remake makers. Oh, no, my. you don't know if it's bad, actually. I mean, it's definitely worse than the original, no, but I mean, it's just people building. So, it. whoa, dude, this is kind of sick. Does Cole have a part of this? Yeah, has he been like? Creators. Has this been under wraps? <laughs> yeah, how did this not get leaks? I know oh, I Cole see. It's has like a, a mini Limbo. No, I like that. I can see some Z God. accessible limbo. I didn't know Z God had a part in this. No, Dude, this, this is, is actually good. This is not even bad. Yeah. I mean, it's just plagiarism, but it's it's like if limbo was level one. <laughs> it's like one of those. It kind of is like that. Because it's just a nerfed version <clears throat> with different gameplay. This this is so weird. Oh my god. It is actually just like this yeah, this is so weird. I don't even know what this to say. This is a very 2015 kind of level to make. Oh my god, we need to hurry it up. It's already been 20 minutes. What the hell? We've just been yapping the whole time about <laughs> random we're levels. Just, we're just watching oh, that's levels. A, that's a <laughs> Dasher podcast like experience. Yeah. What Are if they we no clipping or is that the rule? <clears throat> what if we invited someone on that we didn't like and just never let them talk? Wow. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not talking about you. No, that'd be that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Yo, what the holy shit! Thank you for the fifty dollars. Appreciate it. Yes. Keep on podcasting. Oh, we will. That wasn't even on stream. Should we just? All right. So. Yo, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> we got ten gift memberships and wait, a what? fifty dollar donation. Holy hell! What the fuck? Thank you very. I didn't much, realize D, that. And thank you very much. Holy shit, Rain. thank you so much. Oasis. Yeah, Jesus. Keep on we will keep podcasting. Definitely. All right. Let, let's we actually get back to the this. meat and potatoes. We're just showing levels. Oh my god. I've never seen that before. That's insane. Anybody Big got a gift? W. W? <laughs> there we go. Hugs and the kisses in the oh, chat, guys. Thank you. All right. We got way off topic. <laughs> We're on the limbo we remix. Kind of did. We need to ask more <clears throat> color questions. What the fuck? Oh my god! Dude, you... what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> 20 gifted <laughs> subs? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. What? Dude. Hello? Wow. Is this Kulik on an alt? They're going crazy. <laughs> wow. 
We Hello? appreciate the appreciation. <laughs> oh my god. 30 gifted subs? What in the hell? Jesus. Dude, I might have yeah, to like, like gift subs. I might have to like do a backflip if we get more. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't do a backflip. Can you do a backflip? Yeah, you're right. I can't. I would break my neck. <laughs> can you Insane do a backflip? way for the podcast. You can try to do a backflip, but it you can't. You won't be able to do another backflip after. Color, can you do a backflip? That's on the no. fucking list. No. No. Oh, definitely can not. Can you do a front flip? <laughs> I can try. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to another podcast after, but I can try. We, yeah. we need to like, we need to build a studio and get a trampoline in there. Just make the guests do a front flip. <laughs> 10 more gifted subs. Jeez, I don't even know what to more. say, man. That's, this wow. is, this is the craziest I've ever seen. This is crazy generosity stream chat. here. I don't even know what to say. This is so yeah, distracting. <laughs> yeah, we this got so only two hours here. We wow. don't even have that much stuff, actually. We're near. We're nearing the halfway point already. Really? It wouldn't have won. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I thought we were like number four in the list. All right. All right. <clears throat> Most ADHD shit ever. So, color. Okay. Yes. Yes. Of all of the parts you've made in Geometry Dash. What do you think is the most underappreciated part that you've made? What do you think goes the farthest under the radar? Mmm, that is a tough one. Mm. There's more members than non-members, really? Dude, I can't even, I don't know what's happening. More so. fucking gift subs. <laughs> How, what is going on? Oh, you got one. <laughs> what? Oh, I yeah, got, you one. got one. Thank you. <laughs> cool. This is this is ridiculous. I always wanted happening? to be a Dasher podcast member. Dude, I want access one. to exclusive content that we don't make. Well, technically, we need to we start do. doing that now. I'm I'm waiting for Kolek's uh, concrete answer. Maybe you just can't yeah, pick one. I mean, it's a tough tell. question. I maybe my scream machine part, honestly. Scream machine is that the Taino Machina Club? Yeah, yeah, I. I say that just because I think most of my other parts performed better on, on YouTube, mm -hmm. but I think yeah. this one didn't do quite as well just because it's a, it's a pretty different style than what I usually mm -hmm. do, but I think it's a fun level and I like the theme. And that kind of thing. I Finn, know a lot it's your of people... turn, buddy. <laughs> huh? Finn, it's your turn, buddy. I'm watching the part. He's distracted. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of dope. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Are there back any to um, Are there any collab parts that you never finished that you wish you did, or did you just finish everything? Most of the ones that I had good progress on, I I did finish. Um, there was one second waterfall part that I was working on that I never finished. That one was pretty cool looking at the time, but um, apart from that. I'm so distracted, mm. dude. We got another fifty dollars. I don't know what's going on. That's a second. They don't TM. want Philip to speak. <laughs> yeah, did you talk. see this? They're distracting us. Wow. How could you? Yeah, I would numbers. say that second waterfall part would be my answer. I, I had that just a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Second waterfall part. Yeah, it was. It you was... had a first waterfall part. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a waterfall part. Do we have an under that level in so long? Do we have an underwater welder in the chat? How are we getting this many subs? underwater welder? Dude. Rent a building for the podcast? I might as well now. Yeah. Even though we would have to fly out a British kid and a Canadian kid. What? Yeah. For every single one. We'll do it in like Iceland or something. Crisis can be our Jamie. Crisis, can oh, you yeah, that it's a on? furry programmer. Oh. Huh. There you go. That explains it all. Well. You know what? Let's address the elephant in the room, because Iced Cave is in here. And um, I don't know if we should admit this publicly, but people have been asking about Space UK. And so we're going to address the first one first. 
And Ice Cave said, yeah, man, I'll be here on Saturday, 3 p.m., no problem. Hours to go. He's like, dude, a girl just asked me to, like, to, 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 to you know, spend time with her today. I, we got, I, uh, to spend the evening. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's valid, though. Well, what if, well, what if, okay, I'm not saying that. That's a little mean. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Bro, let him tap, literally, just like. That's. Be my, what if it's chilling. just like a, what if it's just a friend? What? Well, then he's going to be bummed out. He's going to find that out. It'll be a big surprise. Well, whoa, 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 hold on. Not anyway. every girlfriend you got to tap. Hold on, hold on. Dude, we're going to get you in boiling hot water. <laughs> what? Yeah, see that face? Hot <laughs> face. Oh god, I'm melding into a Russian. We gotta move on. Anyway, what and what was it? Space UK. Yeah. Um, he said he didn't want to come on, so we're not having Space UK. Yeah. He's Unless just, someone he's too full of shame to like come on here. But that's actually true. He's and get just, publicly shamed more. <laughs> yeah. He just doesn't feel like it. It's done. So maybe for the best. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are transparent about that. I mean, maybe he'll come on. Maybe maybe he'll become a comedian or something and come on and be like, yeah, I hacked. <laughs> XD. XD, yeah, fuck that fuck. I fucked the whole list up. Can we get a hint as to who the next guest is? We don't know. Normally, normally I do plan that far ahead sometimes, but this is an exception. I don't know. <laughs> I can give a hint to an eventual guest. Go for it. I can't think of a good hint. Though. All right, I'll give you a hint. They have 700 million stars. Do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I just realized I'm reading... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Okay, I thought I was What's... really dumb You're for reading? a second. What are you reading a book? I thought I was reading the topic board for Owen. I thought I was about <laughs> to ask Kulak if he regrets being removed from Limbo. <laughs> Yeah, man, that sucked. That really sucked. Yeah. But did that um, happen? No. <laughs> you should have made <laughs> that joke and I'm just so made, made them update the wiki, being like, there was speculation about him having a part in Limbo, but that was never that never came to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? You can just lie. Like you you can just do it. It's yeah, free. I should have just come on the podcast and started spreading misinformation. You can, yeah. yeah, isn't that funny? You can just do that. You can just lie. Yeah, I, I started creating I I in 1.0. I was, it was easy <laughs> from the start. Yeah. I was actually, um, so we get it. I was actually on the board for Geometry World on mm. the Neighbor Cafe. I lied about my nationality. And uh, as far as they are concerned, I have lived in Korea for my whole life. <laughs> Incredible. But don't tell them, though, <clears throat> or else they might get mad. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I've also never done military service. That's that's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone hijack the podcast? Look, man, if oh, someone wants to pull a max headroom, it wouldn't even... Donations. If someone oh, wants to do a max headroom incident, that wouldn't be the craziest thing that's happened on here. What's I think crazier than that? The crazier than that is either... The fucking gifted subs and donos this stream or tidal wave being rated live. That yeah, that was crazy. Got, bro, why do they want me to say that word? What? They want me to say a word. I don't I'm know cyclic. I don't I know am if it's cyclic. like I don't know if it's a slur, so I'm not gonna say it. Is wait, okay. The chat's gonna light me up for this, but I forgot who Vit twelve is. Are, are they a creator? Vit twelve. Should I know who that is? I know, oh, I know yeah. who Zinio12 is. Vit12 is a creator and like a YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> Am I dumb? No, I'm out of touch. There's a difference. <laughs> Bit I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you guys gotta You're understand. You're like, in chat, dude. Dude, this podcast I... is my only contribution to GD right now. You guys do realize that, right? Daily like if it wasn't if it wasn't for the podcast, I just wouldn't even be around. 
Oh, I know Daily Dose of G. That's the person who thinks Hartrog's legit. Oh, yeah. wait, Vit12 made that? Okay, okay, I do know yeah. who that is then. Yeah. Hijack the podcast. Let me let you take Iced Cave's place. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> Dude, I feel like Kulik is just kind of here. Because, like, this is so Yeah, ADHD. we need to ask more Kulik questions. <clears throat> this needs to be happening. I'm just chilling. Uh, All right, uh, I, have a, I have an idea. I have an idea. Call it, give us a hot take. Give us something that nobody agrees on. We got we we gotta we gotta hear some. Uh, actually has to be like an yeah, come on, let's let's hear it. Uh, you geez. know what? It doesn't even have to be GD. It can be anything. You like mustard you on pizza, like up. Trick does. Let's hear it from the fence sitter himself. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I feel like anything regarding tidal wave is just a hot take. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you think of tidal wave? I. I like the level. I, I like it. You like I, Tidal Wave. I actually don't what think do I it's hear a... people booing. <laughs> the Tidal Wave is like a Kulik approved level. Yeah, I like look. Let's be real. It's it's like a four times speed long level made by one person. There's just like yeah. there was zero way that you can expect that to be like perfectly polished all the way through. So I don't blame yeah. any of like the polishing errors. And I think the vibe that they have is what makes it good mm -hmm. yeah i don't know that is very true maybe i'm just I a think... sucker for the beach vibe but i think it's an interesting level dude i am too yeah. i always like... forget that it's like four times speed and the solo level yeah like four like... times speed is fucking annoying to decorate because you decorate for 20 hours and you've done like nothing yeah like that's pretty much so... unheard of nowadays like when was the last time you saw a solo that was like well regarded in the community that was that long yeah, yeah and death moon i don't know is... i get that 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 puts into perspective from a creator mm -hmm. to a creator yeah i do believe sirios yeah. will enjoy dissecting that frame by frame that's true <laughs> this is gonna go on twitter in an hour and it's someone's gonna be like someone's gonna be like oh of course the guy who yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. Of course, the it's guy who GD understands. Twitter. Of course, the guy who understands composition likes Tidal Wave. Like, uh, <laughs> no, Tidal Wave isn't very well composed. I will say that, like, it could be better in that regard. But like, well, of course, and and we all think that, you know, if you understand. Oh no! No one's saying it's field, perfect. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's going to be creators who are as subjectively skilled as Kolek who don't like it, but. I mean, at the end of the day, mm. yeah, that's you, definitely, you that it's definitely a very, I know a lot of good creators that like the level. And I know a lot of good creators that despise the level. So it's, it's definitely an even split. Yeah. Tidal Wave is the only level I've seen to annoy Rob Top so much to where he just started directly talking about it in, yeah. in, in a sense of like, Hmm. Um, <laughs> maybe in my next stream, uh, we can have a, a timer for, that goes up five seconds whenever somebody says rate title with. Yeah. That, that was crazy. Saying, people were saying that he got pressured into rating it, which I mean, probably wouldn't be surprising. If that's true. Yeah. I, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, some people I know were upset about that because they thought that that was like, you know, setting a precedent. But... Yeah. That he was changing his opinions based on. Yeah. But the, I, I really yeah. don't think it's, it's that it's deep. That deep. Yeah, like Rob Top was never saying like he despised the level and had a good reason for not rating it. He just said that it was 50 50 and it was up to him. There's another artist reveal in 20 minutes. Hmm. Cool. It's going to be all right. It's going to be, like, it's going to be, it's going to be Windows Virtual 96. Riot. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be, gonna be uh, it's going to be super grass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows who that is. Just a funny name. <laughs> they have one song that I've ever heard, and it's called All Right. And I All think right. it's a pretty decent song. English rock band. Yeah, so cool. Like, um, I need a copy of Cockmock Unleashed right now. All right, let oh. me lob. Let me lob it. I don't know what <laughs> Cockmock Unleashed <clears throat> is. It's like... um, I, is it, It's just... It's like the unnerved version, because the reason for the level existing is that someone i forget who it was they started making progress on the layout of the unnerved version and so charity oh. was like oh okay i guess we'll decorate it since someone wants to beat it 
Sorry, Let's I meant milk Cosmos. Milk the cockmock cow as much as possible. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, if people want to see it, may as well make it. Dude, Guys, I wish I was as obsessed. Unleashed. I wish I was as obsessed with something as Russians are with Cockmock. <laughs> dude, they no, are, dude, if like I was a Russian 14-year-old, I would be eating so good. It's because, like, the Cockmark Western Unleashed. community, like, watched it as well. Mm. Everyone was like, yeah, cool. And no what's, what's yes Cosmos. in Russian? Hmm? What, what's, what's yes what's in, in Russian? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Anybody know? Yes, Oh yeah, it's duh. Oh, that's what it means. Dude, it comes out there duh. like duh, duh, duh. <laughs> Let me eat my pashtet and watch this, dude. Get the yes! Something like that, and then I'll talk about it. Uh, <laughs> Let me eat my crackers and cheese and watch Cockmock. Now that, now that is a night. That is a night out right there. <laughs> Dude, I'm sure really? it's not even. I'm sure Cogmok has played in like a bar in Russia somewhere on a TV. <laughs> what you, oh, I'm 100%. sure that would be hard. That I'm sure some hard. kid has figured out how to like airplay onto the TV and just plays Cogmok. Oh my god, yeah, my Cogmok showcase. Jesus. I'm sure. Do you remember? I think I was in cool with you when I discovered Cogmok as like a fucking twenty thousand view level. I was like, yo, this is either gonna get twenty views or like. Four hundred thousand. <laughs> you remember that? And then I like, I posted it and go, I it's deleted now because when I thought I was going to be striked, I like deleted videos of all the levels I thought they would strike. So mm. they would, they definitely would have. Yeah, that would have been the prime target because that that's the one definitely someone they knew would have had ownership of. So, but yeah, yeah, that video we, don't, we don't talk about that egregiously well. <laughs> I, I don't know why it was so popular. That guy hit yeah, 100k, by the way. Who? Um, you know, the GD player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats, man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that face. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to um, get him on and just mute him. No, he's not going to get his plaque because they don't ship them to Russia. So I don't care. Do they not? No. Or Ukraine. Oh. I'm the only showcaser with a plaque. He's going to buy a fake one. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that guy like has like a fake Rolex or something. I'll tell you about I mean, this. He was like flexing in DMs. He was like showing me pictures of his like, he's like, I got $20,000 Rolex. That was not Russian. But yeah, it was. That guy was an enigma. <laughs> if you but, got a just a gd player plaque what why is ice cave still gone because he is on a date or something i don't know i know he's not he's just out <sighs> dude you think he's eating a uh, canadian bacon i don't know <laughs> maple, maple syrup. syrup i'm so yeah, funny just, i'll be here all night bowl of maple syrup yeah yeah they just dip chips in it oh no, he's always a patine. Putin. That's Whatever. that is a, such Putin. a bad food combo. I feel like it would be good because it's syrup, but like that just sounds what? bad. Dipping no, like chips in and syrup. Like cheese curds and chips. I don't know. <laughs> Doritos Locos Taco. Kolak, you fuck with Taco Bell? <laughs> Oh yeah, I love Taco Bell. Dude. Oh good, Baja we're friends. Blast. Favorite fast we're friends. food joint. Favorite fast food? It's been switching up. It's been switching up. I, oh. I've had Chick Fil A. Obviously, okay. it's a classic, but I yeah. sort of got sick of that Can't one. Can't go wrong. It's, I thought it's, that was good. It's a you know, one trick. That's all they got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Their but, fries are so good. The waffle fries. True. True. I had them. True. Chipotle is a classic. Can never. Really I had it yesterday. That. So good. I've never had it. Truly, truly. I know there's one near me, but I'm scared. You gotta try I'm it. I'm scared. Uh, I get the high protein stuff because I just I work out like all the time, mm. and I need that. I need the protein. Yeah, it's. I like it because it's not like <laughs> terribly unhealthy or anything like a lot of the other places. Chipotle is so good. I had a friend. 
I had a friend who just went had a bad experience and he was like, dude, Chipotle sucks. I'm like, the whole call blew up. They were like, what? <laughs> How, what? Hello? Are I you never, my friend? Isn't it, it's just burritos, right? It's yeah, burritos, like bowls, bowls, tacos, chips, guac. Yeah. How can you go wrong with that? I feel like that's the easiest thing. Yeah. Like you choose like, what's in it. Like either you don't know what you like. You or you just <laughs> made the taco. It's like the subway meme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You made the subway. <laughs> actually the sandwich can no, only subway be as good as the sucks. ingredients yeah subway here sucks um subway here might get better popeyes popeyes is all right um, popeyes is good oh yeah we got popeyes. wendy's now wendy's yeah i approve wendy's is good yeah wendy's is wendy's, better than uh, mcdonald's yeah it, it, mackey's. it definitely cleared mcdonald's mackey's yeah. is all right it's cheap so you go there on a night out. Being delicious really with this one. Yeah, I'm delicious. And what else do we have? What do you mean? You guys have um, Nando's. No. We don't have, have Asda Nando's. either. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming God, Colic lives out. in the U.S. I mean, Nando's Chick-fil-A has got to live in the U.S. Nando's right? is so good. You guys need Nando's. What, I don't, what is that? It's uh fried chicken, but like it's no, it's peri peri chicken. Cole, like you fuck with but raisin like canes. Oh yeah, oh, definitely. Good. Do you have Zaxby's where you live? Because it's like the same thing. Uh yeah, I think so. I haven't had it though in a long time. It's it's identical. I think canes is still better though. Okay. I've seen the argument of people saying that cane sauce carries that entire establishment. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I mean. I the chicken say that. is pretty good. Like, the sauce just elevates it. Yeah, like may, maybe you could say it's the best part, but it's not like it's so bad. What? Cane sauce. It's just like um, it's just ketchup and mayo. Yeah, it's, it's... Oh, prawn cocktail sauce. Huh? That's what cocktail sauce. That's not cocktail sauce. Yeah. No one is dipping shrimp in. Ketchup and mayonnaise. That's what it is. No, it's a... Finn. I have a that feeling that you are incorrect. How do you get guests onto the podcast? Mayonnaise, do you reach out to the guests, or does the guests reach out to you? Literally, we, one we reach out to the we reach out to the guests. Heinz tomato ketchup. Whatever, whatever Finn's looking up, it's not Google. It's, that's what it is. Can someone agree with me? Mayonnaise and ketchup is prawn cocktail sauce. That's comeback someone, sauce. Someone will say it. It's comeback sauce. It's not. It is. It's not. It's real. Colleague's mic is moving, but he's not talking. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's picking up my keyboard or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think for the next episode, I'm going to swap my mic to a Blue Yeti and get my Razor Black Widow. And just type yeah, in a course. server the whole time. He's verifying if it's true that mayo with ketchup is... No! Mayo with ketchup and have that with Okay, chips wait. And mayo and ketchup change. is gross. Are we, no, are we talking to real people? What's It's so good with chips. Someone's gonna Someone... come on here and be like, pizza sucks. Someone said I'm speaking in Morse code. <laughs> I mean, that would, that would check Does out. No You're like a robot. Definitely, I'm just an AI. This must be a British thing. Mayo yeah, I think something's just wrong with the head. No, it's not. <laughs> You're just actually, like, close-minded. <laughs> you don't understand. How can you say that? Dude, you guys stole all of the spices and you don't even use them. <laughs> we did. Uh, it's just, we're, uh-uh, no. Yeah, we, like, yeah. India used to be, like, the, like 75, no, it used to be, like, 25% of the entire world's, like, Dude, I bet that We I, went over, we left it, like, 2%. I bet the bottom of we your shoes everything. has more seasoning than the chicken you guys eat. No, I actually season my chicken. My yeah. friend makes, like, grossed out by how much seasoning I have. What kind of seasoning? But I just season food. Huh? What seasoning? Like, salt. Just salt and pepper and stuff. 
stuff. Like, you know, stuff implies the existence of pepper, more than salt and pepper. Sauce into something. all right i don't you speaking like you're speaking nando i don't know what that is nando we're gonna move you on buy nando sauce i uh, that's just tesco's. not real it's not real tesco's not real like either pasta sauce and it's so good pasta is real yeah it's like we're forgetting we have a guest <laughs> i'm <laughs> okay what do you eat kaluk <laughs> yeah diet check yeah. Diet check, diet check. All right, yeah, the all right. diet podcast is beginning. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I eat a lot of chicken for protein. I uh, yes. I drink protein mm -hmm. smoothies. Those are nice. Jeez. Yep. Besides that, I mean, it's pretty pretty standard meals, bro. I mean, do you have an Aldi uh, where you live? Chicken and rice. Yeah, chicken and rice. I actually do eat a lot of chicken and rice. I can't even lie. Call like, do you have an Aldi where you live? An Aldi. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I do actually. How how often do you go? I haven't been in a long time. If if you ever go again, you should look for. I'm just gonna send a picture of it. It's Elevation Protein Bars Cookie Dough. Why well, you re you recommend to everybody <laughs> protein bars? Dude, I'll these are the best protein out. bars ever. They're so soft. They taste great. Is it cookie it's dough? Soft. Flavor? It tastes great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great. Mm -hmm. How big is it? Okay. 15 grams per bar and it's not it's like I don't 15 know. grams i mean it's the size of like a snickers probably that's pretty girthy snickers oh yeah well so it's I, missing I... the veins but oh oh yeah the snickers vein on it <laughs> oh i love those Jesus. dude are you gonna make a are you gonna make a chocolate themed level at some point yeah <laughs> i don't know maybe i can I'm make waiting, a Baja blast themed level <laughs> make a taco bell level the the color scheme is uh purple and uh whatever mint green. I'm I'm gonna there's <laughs> I started a nine circles level called Baja Barrage at one point. <laughs> Baja Barrage. Baja Blast themed nine circles. It was actually it was going kind of crazy before I got indefinitely put to sleep. You need to finish that. I, Cheesy I think Gordita I do, actually. Crunch Cosm. <laughs> It Dude, was Locos cause them. I don't think anyone is as in tune with Taco Bell as Wes PDX. That guy, he he loves this Taco Bell. Oh, Wes PDX. He's, Do you want people I mean, eat I so every day? I don't. I don't think he eats it every day anymore. But I think if he could, he would. His face is just covered in oil, like Papa John. <laughs> Papa John? It's worth it. Yeah, have you seen the video of Papa John talking about, like, pizza and his face? Dude, what? Dude, okay, oil. can we all agree that Arby's needs to pack it up? Dude, Arby's, Arby's gave my dad food Arby's. poisoning. <laughs> See? They, they, Actually, it's like a Long terrible John establishment. <laughs> it's like a I've, Long I've John Silver situation. I've heard things about the Arby's toilets. So. They just need to fucking pack it up, dude, I swear. How, how are they even in business? I don't know a single person that goes there. <laughs> I'm the only thing good about Arby's is their curly fries and their marketing. <laughs> yeah, dude, the meat mountain. I gotta get that. Yeah, That's I gotta get. I gotta get worms. I gotta get parasites in my stomach from Arby's because it's raw meat. <laughs> Actually, isn't that a pork only thing? What? No clue. That's a chicken only thing. It can't be raw. Is it? No, I thought raw <laughs> pork. Would, I thought raw laundering. pork gave you like. <laughs> tapeworms or something uh it can no that, i think that was just a um chubby emu video but that was because they had weird like imported illegal pork illegal pork yeah no it's from like an illegal farm that doesn't meet standards so all their like things have tapeworms <laughs> damn i know Mars you're not supposed to eat raw pork well that's what they want you to think is that a challenge I know sashimi chicken exists, but that's in countries where they don't have salmonella, like Japan. They just don't have it there. <laughs> they just—it doesn't I, exist. I huh? think they just know their chickens like don't. Do you know what salmonella have sashimi is? Chicken. I wouldn't eat it though. That I sounds think like... at this point, there's some like basic human instinct inside of me that would not let me eat raw chicken. Yeah, nah, I would. I, I don't good. think I would. <laughs> you yeah. never tried sushi. I haven't had sushi. Well, I have tried sushi, but that's not chicken, is it? Yeah, but it's raw fish. Well, yeah, but sashimi? that's like sushi. 
I've had, I think I've had raw. smoked salmon before. Knowing it was raw chicken, I think would put me off. I don't know if I could do it. I've had I've had alligator before, and if you you weren't told alligator. alligator, you would think it was chicken. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's probably that's, that's probably similar. the weirdest thing I've eaten. Actually, no, the weirdest thing I've eaten are escargot snails. <laughs> no, don't even talk about escargot. snails. Yeah, snails. They're oh, just like and they're just like chewy and like I don't know. It was just like weird. gummy worm. I've had mussels. Oh no, no. I've had kangaroo. <laughs> I think kangaroo is very similar to uh. Kangaroo is weirder beef. than snail. It's like cheap beef. How do you even kill a kangaroo? Oh, well, a like gun. Probably. I don't know. You just follow them in it. Kangaroos well, are aren't crazy. They all, Kangaroos aren't they all like jacked? Because yeah. they just jump around That's, all day? That means they have tons of meat, though. Wouldn't it all be Seen. very tender? Yeah. yeah. So it's like steak. <laughs> you think kangaroos wonder what people like Ronnie Coleman taste like? Because they're very, Same. like, large, tender. <laughs> large and tender. You think well, bears are laying are awake at night him? thinking about what, like... Ronnie who? N never mind. He's not tapped in. You're not, not tapped in. in enough You're not tapped in. Mealworms are probably high in protein. They are. The, the only Some one way to find mealworms. out... Some people are yo... In the well, like dried, worms. like dried worms that you can just... I mean, that's different. Oh, God, no. You feed those like birds. You those like you put them in your hand like the bird. You can eat them. Like sits on your. You hand. can eat dried That's roaches like and thing. stuff too, or yeah. dried crickets roaches. and stuff. I I'm gonna pass on that until absolutely necessary. <laughs> crickets are. I mean, they're they're dried. Like there's, well, it's just like a crunchy thing. They're better. covered in salt. It's kind Great, of like almonds salt. with salt. What well, I don't. It's still a cricket. I don't care if it's dry and covered in salt. Its skin is very like, very crunchy. But that's that's just not it's it. Like though. caramel popcorn. I'm not eating a cricket. Why not? I don't know. You're being a bitch. Like... No, it's just guys. Weird. I think FNMO four is a confirmed puss. No, um. <laughs> I'm not eating it. I just don't want to eat. Dude, yeah, this is a roast session now. We're gonna. I don't want to eat beef cricket. After this. this is the food and roast podcast. You thought I was weird for eating like beans on toast. You're out here like, Bill. Cricket isn't actually that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not. It's a snack. Some crickets right now. It's a snack. You guys no. don't season any. You snack food. on the weirdest shit. I have Lindor chocolate. Oh, I forgot to take my multivitamins. Remember when Thanks you ate like a me. whole pineapple and your mouth started bleeding? Yeah, my tongue started bleeding. We were watching. Uh, Dude, we were watching The Great Gatsby. <laughs> we were watching The Great <laughs> yeah. Gatsby, and I had to pause it at like five thirty in the morning. I was with Finn in a call. This is like three yeah. years ago or something. This I like, came yeah, back with a whole container ago. of pineapple, and then we were just watching the movie. And then I paused, and I was like. Um, I think my tongue is bleeding. I'll be right back. Yeah, because the enzymes in the pineapple. Yeah, because like, it just it just scraped the shit. the top layer off my tongue. That's actually crazy. That was a mistake. Yeah. Oh anyway. yeah, isn't this a GD podcast? Yeah, where were we in the list? Oh no, I gotta eat my multivitamins. You gotta you gotta carry this. Um, do you have? I want to ask you about how does it feel like to have people like a lot of people. Like even blue saying, just calling you like, yo, you're the like the best creator ever. One like, of the best. How does? Do you think they're right? Do you, what? How does it feel to be called like the best person ever and have all the people like copying what you do? I mean, there. I mean, there's a lot of parts to it. I mean, first of all, it's it's crazy. I mean, I don't know like how to really receive it the the best way possible because it's right. I mean, it's. It's awesome to see that people actually like what I do because, you know, I put a lot of time and I do really try with it. So it's nice to see that, like, you know, people actually do appreciate it. But, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> I got to make sure that it's not like a I don't I don't want to get an ego or anything. So it's not yeah. I, I don't I don't try and dwell on it much. And, you know, it's it's not like there's ever going to be like a best creator and nor is it really, yeah. I guess, healthy to strive to be it definitely objective and yeah it's hard if you don't have an ego about it you i don't know it's hard not to unless you just have imposter syndrome like all the time <laughs> be like am i actually but yeah i think 
it's, I wouldn't I, say there's an objective best creator of all time. What do you, what do you what is your favorite creator of all time? Like in your opinion? That is a good question. I my personal favorite might might be Zender game, honestly. And that's like honestly, yeah, I think part of that too pretty, is it's pretty standard, I guess, but I think that's just because of his a lot of his recent stuff even even though he isn't like very active right now i think the occasional items he posts and that kind of thing are all still extremely good it seems like he's improving a lot still he's very talented i'm back by the way yeah nice. yeah what you I, said though it's true mm -hmm. I, Ego management. I think that yeah i mean i think it's you know I think generally the community keeps me in check. I never really get to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, I, I'm I'm the shit because yeah. everyone. I <laughs> tomorrow, think everyone makes it pretty clear that tomorrow yeah. there's gonna be like a a very average level video on Twitter, and you're just gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Why didn't they like invite <laughs> me? I could have fixed this. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. Oh my god, man, dude. Oh yeah. All yeah, all I the replies. Reply Kolak, I really so like bad. you, but you're so much better than this. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, people. <laughs> I, I do appreciate that people are willing to, like, there's a lot of discourse on, like, who the best creators are, and there's a lot of, like, disagreement, and people yeah generally are very critical if someone calls someone the best creator and that kind of stuff, which I think is it's often a good thing, and because I don't, I don't think it's good to have someone who's just, like, the best, and everyone else is just, like, swept under the rug. Yeah. I like how it's, like, okay, there's dozens and dozens of well-respected creators and everyone can appreciate them even though you know some might have their favorites and other people might put others down sometimes yeah as yeah, long as it's not like a toxic thing i think it's all right because i mean the problem is when people start taking two creators and start saying okay you're now pitted against each other and we're going to put down whoever's worse <laughs> like mm. a dog yeah, yeah. put you down Sorry, I definitely yeah, think there you. is such thing as a good creator and a bad creator. Like you still have to know like basic things about design. Oh yeah, I mean definitely. I think you know, right. it's like who who would try and make the claim that, like, let's say someone's been creating for five years and someone's been creating for a week. It's not really fair to say like you know the person's been creating for a week is better unless there's some sort of like genuine genius. Yeah. Because I think there are a lot of things like a lot of people have to learn, like composition and color theory and just balancing stuff and textures. It's just like art, basically, because it's just looking at something and liking how it looks, which is just the same thing. Yeah, and definitely. Some people have to learn that, but for some people, it just comes naturally. And that's yeah. really weird. Like they don't even have to learn. It. It's just kind of built in. I I don't see. I think learning composition and color theory and stuff it's very rare for someone to just have that you know off rip i think generally you yeah. do have to learn it i think some people are better at like utilizing references and figuring out what the like essence of it is and using that yeah but generally it's a skill that people build up i would say hmm. that makes me uh curious about a question i had which is that a lot of people like to say that the editor in GD is quite an inefficient creative medium. Do you agree or disagree yeah. with that? Do you think they're full of shit or do you think like it, it just is the way it is? It's I think 2.2 changed my opinion on that quite a bit in 2.1. I would say it was, it's a pretty ineffective medium, at, at least for learning for learning art. It's definitely going to be a slow process because like, if I'm drawing in Photoshop, for example, I can make a brush stroke instantly. That's like any organic shape I want. But if yeah. I want to do that geometry dash, it's like I spend 10 minutes putting together little rectangles until it makes the shape I want. So it's just yeah. slower. Like I can see my own things and see the feedback instantly if I'm drawing versus with GD. It's like half the battle is just getting what I'm trying to do onto the paper or onto the screen rather. But in 2.2, now that we have like the transform tool and the shaders and all of that, it's there there are some caveats. I think that now there's actually a couple redeeming qualities about learning art inside of Geometry Dash. And I don't think it's as like straightforward as it was before. Like I would still say if you're trying to learn art, GD is not the best method for it for sure. No. 
but it's not like a god awful place that's like you know the wrong place to learn art like it's still viable now yeah <laughs> i wouldn't know <laughs> yeah i thought lots of shortcuts or being able to make shortcuts would help i think yeah they're just having massive a top bar like in photoshop i actually we just pull shit down that would be sick yeah Call quality work. of life update to the editor would be so yeah. nice or someone uh, well, will make that it. might be that might be the answer to what i was going to ask about do you what is the biggest thing missing from the editor would it just be that yeah just general quality of life stuff like for example if i have let's say i make a tree and the tree is made up of like 50 objects that are all in different layers if i want to let's say copy paste that and have another tree in front of that there's no way to move those objects forward to be in front of the old tree if they're all on like the same like b1 b2 mm -hmm. yeah that kind of layer like the z layering is all mixed so there's no way to change that stuff like better edit added an option that you could switch that but right now there's no way to do it so it's just stuff like right. that that would you know be such an easy switch would be super nice or just like the ability to like color correct more clearly or even just yeah. better just just fixing a lot of the bugs because there's a lot of bugs in the editor right now yeah i think the editor right now has a massive learning curve especially the new people and 2.2 .2 has made that probably worse i think because you have to learn so much to be able to even start creating something that's like worthy of being you know up there yeah the trigger side of things has definitely become harder but i think mm. now that we have the transform tool and we have so many objects it actually is a bit easier to be able to right. use objects because you just have so many options because in 2.1 unless you were doing like a very like classic design style that we have a lot of references for if you're trying to do your own thing you kind of had to almost either spend like hours looking through the pages or have the objects memorized pretty much or else you weren't going to be able to make something optimized enough to make it work but now in 2.2 with transforming and all of the different new shapes we have you actually can just jump in and probably find what you need without having it all memorized yeah i was gonna i was gonna ask something I don't think you'd have an answer for 2.2 given the amount of time that it hasn't been out for, but maybe you could answer it for 2.1. What do you think the most underutilized and most underutilized and also useful blocks are in the editor? Something that you never see people use that are so good, mm. if, the, if any? That is also a good question because they're. it's really funny. The the underground art community in Geometry Dash, they go through like phases where they'll like find this group of objects and they'll be like hailed as like uh -huh. the ultimate like god object and then it'll, like, <laughs> everyone will be using it. More but like then the, the rocks. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> yeah. the rocks. That was like the first phase was like those <laughs> those rock face like those blocks. Rook outlines. Yeah, those. So like someone found those and then everyone started using them. And because everyone used them, everyone got sick of them. So it wasn't good anymore. So someone had to find something yeah. else. And there was like five phases that there was like just the cartoony 2.1 rock objects have an outline and then people found these like slightly curved irregular tiny objects that you could scale up that got blurry when you scaled them up so it got oh. you like optimized glow it was called like paint objects the community called them oh and so those blew up and those became super popular and those were very good like those i don't want to take away from and if you used them right they were very effective and but anyway that happened a lot and so people were always looking for that in 2.1 it's hard to choose one that was the best it may have just been honestly those tiny objects i might be able to i don't know if you could show a screenshot is that your favorite objects yeah i can show a picture nowadays i don't think this <laughs> is actually as it? useful you don't really need this in 2.2 .2 anymore but in 2.1 if you took like let me see <laughs> finding it yeah these objects in the editor and you s made it the primary color invisible and the secondary color a color you could scale it up and it would be blurry and that was super useful in 2.1 because we couldn't have irregularly shaped glow without using a lot of oh, objects right. yeah so having something blurry was super useful but now in 2.2 .2, if you know how to warp glow 
in a smart way, you don't really need those at all anymore. Huh. Hmm. So nowadays, I would say the most important thing to learn in terms of objects, well, one, you have to learn the new tile set ordering because do you guys know about how layering is not consistent between objects right now? No, I was unaware. So basically, if you have like all of the old 2.1 objects, those layer like B4, B3, B2, like normally, and like the Z layering works. But if you take an animated object, it'll always go below those old objects, no matter what. Oh. It'll always be below it. And pixel objects will always be below the animated objects. And what is it? The hexagon tab or whatever will always be below that. And so you kind of have to have that, like, you have to be ready for that. Otherwise, you're not going to have layering that works out. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a problem. It, yeah, that is, <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. I, I really wish it wasn't. I, I'm assuming it's just like a coding thing that he wasn't able to fix. Or it's like they're coming from different, mm -hmm. like, files or, like, spreadsheets. Yeah. sheets. But that's one thing. And then if you can get good at that and good at like get good at using warped glow, you'll probably be set because warped glow basically allows you to make things blurry when you need them to be, and it also allows you to make optimized um, neon, which is super nice. Yeah, so, I think uh, also in the editor, one thing I think would be a lot nicer is the colors, right? They're still 8 bit colors, right? Uh, I think they, I feel like there's more, but that might just be the glow being fixed. I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I think it's 8-bit, but okay. if it was just like 10 or like just go 16-bit colors, it would look so much better, especially when you're scaling up like glow. It wouldn't have the banding that it yeah. uh, has right now. So you could save a bunch of objects and it would just look way better, especially on phones and stuff. Just Yeah, true. 10 bit color or even like it's not that hard to make yeah did you contact rob top about the issue have you emailed oh, rob top games about the issue like, bro add 8 bit <laughs> color is for dummies nobody has oh okay color how do you do that, that like this oh, okay <laughs> yeah. i do wonder no, it's not that hard it can't be that hard it's not like making everything vector graphics or something color i do wonder bro, you call it's muted no, no, that was me. That was me. I didn't want to hear him anymore. No. Um, <laughs> he wasn't. Are there any? Stream, but yeah. Are there any mistakes that you've made in your collab parts that only you would notice now? Like oh, just very minute things that, 100%. like, only you are like, "Fuck! I can't believe I missed that." Definitely, definitely. I can probably try and find one. I, Do you have any examples? Let me see. Um. Um, I'm that's something hard. only the creator would see and no one else would see it well and stuff like gd it's probably more noticeable actually there's one thing i'm curious if people have found i guess if, you, if anyone's actually found all of the random among us that i've hidden my parts oh yeah it's like people almost all of my of parts it. i, I almost... always see them when i'm going past and like practice mode I saw a tweet like, about that aerial gleam. yesterday. There's like so many in there. There's like at least one. Yeah, there was two, I think. Like, yeah. <laughs> here's a screenshot of my cock mock un unleashed part. There's just one block oh my that's God, like missing. Cock unleashed. That's missing the. All right, the let's back. expose Kolok real quick. Uh, yeah, why is your Among Us in. in that part? Um, that one is actually missing it. I didn't put the Among Us. In this oh part. wow. No, it's up. it needs an update. Dude, I think your integrity is failing right now. We need Kotmok untethered. Dude, I think untethered. everything is falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just add the Among Us. And that's Kogmok it. Reloaded is coming soon. Kogmok Reloaded? That's kind of hard. It <laughs> hard. <laughs> Jesus. Do you remember Centipede Reloaded? Centipede Reloaded? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Do, oh, what? Do you, remember, do you remember a guy named the Prime Evil? Or were you not around then? I don't, I don't know if I remember that. He was no, making was a that? level. He was making a level called. It was t early 2018. He was making a level called Centipede Reloaded, and Crazen bullied him what? so much over it. Crazen. Yeah, funny. he made fun of it so hard. 
and he deleted like all traces of it. What well, crazen? Or well, the person making this is this um, is 2018. Com- what, what like centipede reloaded? Centipede reloaded. Well, the so only the people that don't just know came out. The one that um, no, it's it's unrelated. It uses the same Lord song. Vedacroft. It uses the same song, but it's not the same level. I know. You can never make a level called Centipede without using Centipede. That would just not make sense. What? You need to find Centipede Unleashed. Centipede I think Unleashed. Matthew McConaughey just insane, pulled up man. to my house. Centipede Unleashed. That would make sense. That makes more sense than Comoc Unleashed. Unleashed. You need to swap it. Comoc Reloaded and Centipede Unleashed sounds way better. Cockmock refresh. I'll ask Vernom. <laughs> yeah. Is it Vernom or Vernum? Or I don't Vernum? know. I, I haven't asked him. Hmm. I call him Vernsworth usually. <laughs> Vernsworth. Does Cherry get like? Does Cherry get too much flack? Um, Do you think? I are you even in? Cher- I don't even know. I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm in Cherry. Um. It's hard to say because, like, I don't know. I'm not super involved on, like, Twitter or, like, you know, the main spaces where things get talked about. So I, I don't want to say, like, it's definitely getting too much hate or not enough. But I think that some people for sure give it too much hate. I think that mm. there's a lot of people who think that, like, the team is solely just, like, what's the right word? Like, soulless mm-hmm. or corporate or yeah. that the hosts don't have any morals or that kind of thing. But. I, I don't know. I, I don't spend like a ton of time there. Like I'm not like, you know, in on Discord chatting all day. So I don't know everyone there. But the people I have talked to have been perfectly nice. And the people like the creators are obviously passionate about what they do. It's not like I'm speaking to these creators and they like just don't give a shit and just aren't even trying. Like they, they genuinely are talking for mm-hmm. hours and hours, figuring out what they want to do for the part to make it look the best and to brainstorm stuff. So it's not like you know, it's it's a yeah. soulless team or that kind of thing. I think, I think when Cherry Team aims for like the best, it's always the same thing. <laughs> like from when I have played Cherry Team levels, which they might have changed because I haven't played one for like a year, but when I was playing a bunch of them like a year or so ago, yeah, basically they would all look kind of the same. Like there would be different themes and it'd be different gameplay and like, but it would still just kind of be the same it's like ai art it's like it's cool but Mm -hmm. you look at a bunch of it and it's like this is all the same it was kind of like that i feel you i think i think that's gotten better because i think at one point i would agree with you to some degree that i think that i think at one point they did have a very strict like flatlined style that they were doing and yeah i think it got better over the last couple of years as they worked on stuff like um waterfall cytokinesis i think that they should make another level like firework dude yeah cytokinesis was cool it still had that feeling but it's it was cool yeah like that level i think them branching out and getting like more diverse creators helped with that because i think a lot of it wasn't that like their process was wrong i think just that they'd had they just happened to have a lot of creators that liked the same style like they were just a cohesive group of people and so they made a lot of the similar stuff. But I think that they kind of branched out and got some other creators. Like I know Bly helped out with some of their levels and stuff like that. I think by bringing in mm. people like him, it added some diversity and some flair. Bly is so good, good, man. He is. He's, he's very great. Blee. Like I, I still don't know who Bly is, honestly. He's a creator. <laughs> who is that guy? Yeah. People like watch changing, like change of scene. Is it Bly and or Bly? I still haven't watched it. I actually don't know. I, I always said Bly in my head, but it might be Bly. Blee. I don't that's know. like when people make fun of me day. for saying that's like when people make fun of me for saying kenos that was when Blee kenos. won the gd awards and i was watching it was like who is Blee? <laughs> and then i just net i don't know I, i've still to this day never watched change of scene just it's a great level. I, I think i've seen it, some but, of it yeah. he i, I think watch it one day i think he struck a really good balance between like polish and managing his time because it's very rare for a creator to be able to actually get levels out that are as high quality right. as him at like yeah. this as quickly as he does while also maintaining like he still builds collab parts and he also has solos hmm. 
yeah, that's good. I mean, obviously, there's a very good creator there. Mm. So I should be more of a blee appreciator, obviously. <laughs> I need to look at some bleebles and see what's yeah. going on with Did you just This is the kind of thing where, like, even if you aren't, like, totally invested or interested in his style, I think most people can appreciate the the raw skill. Yeah, I hear they're very optimized. That's what I've heard. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I'm seeing criticism about him optimizing too much, which is something I never thought what? was a problem. <laughs> In 2.1, that was never a, a, a thing you could complain about. I So he, this is an interesting stance for me to hold, because a lot of people, there is a lot of discourse that I've seen comparing me and him, and a lot of people use like the same kind of points, which it's, I don't know, it's hard to decide which one of us is better when the two of us have different goals because it's completely different yeah like from what i've seen yeah he, it's nothing like what you do yeah because i mean let's be fair i mean he just straight up he has made more than me in a shorter period of time like he's made a full solo when i have it and mm. his stuff is more optimized than mine like his stuff will run better but oh yeah, that's because we have different goals, you know. Like he, he, his goal is to make something that's very accessible and that he can actually release, which is, you know, a lot of people actually do that. And I'm more focused on making shorter spans yeah. of decoration that have, that are less optimized, but are able to be more polished as a result because I have more objects to use. You know, it's just different goals. Yeah, yeah, no. I remember playing, oh, first playing your what was it, Blade of Justice? But it's not Blade of Justice, but you know, Edge what I of mean. Destiny. Um, oh yeah. Edge of Destiny part. Holy shit! My PC, I was my thing. Basically, it will automatically slow down my game if it doesn't have enough frames, because then I can't <laughs> like bottle level. I went through that part at like one twentieth speed. <laughs> that is the laggiest thing ever. Was that it's, when was that that you played that? Because I remember that there was, was like the first showcase copy. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I ended up yeah, rebuilding that, that part. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up rebuilding that to be, I think it was actually almost like half the objects it was really? just because, um, and, you know, it's the kind of thing where once you build it once, you can go back and figure out like, okay, this detail, no one's really yeah. seeing this one. Let's get rid of that. But it's, you know, that that's, that's a perfect example where, you know, if I wanted to make it more optimized, I could definitely do that. But a lot of it is like, okay, if I'm going to make this more optimized, that simply means it cannot have the level of like intricacy that it does have right now. And I, like, I have to make the choice. Like, okay, do I want it to be as polished and as intricate as I want it to be yeah. and sacrifice frames or should I do the other? So it's, you know, it's always tough to decide because a lot of the time, I don't think that like, you know, I'm necessarily better at polishing than Bly. And I don't think that Bly is necessarily better at optimizing than me. It's just that like, you know, his goal is to create something accessible and my goal is to create something super polished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think probably edge of destiny is like my favorite part that you've made. Oh yeah. Anyone's made. I don't know thank what you, you think you. your favorite part that you've made is. That's you a made quite a few. Yeah. That's a, it's a tough one. I edge of destiny is definitely one of my personal favorites. I think that, something about the composition there i got lucky with yeah it was something about that pops and you know yeah i can, I can never truly decide if i would put something above Ed, or not, above emerald realm just because <gasps> yeah, that was a part heard, that I, I that is like <sighs> yeah that was just a part i toiled away yeah. on for like a year just like learning how to build in a different style because i'd never done like a nature or artistic style like that before so i really just yeah I, I, I spend ages on that so it's hard to put something above that but i think the composition of yeah a couple of my other parts may actually be better even if the details aren't as mm -hmm. nice or as difficult to make yeah yeah i think whenever you watch the emerald realm part for the first time you just like, oh, okay cool yeah he's still on the level again <laughs> but, yeah and then, and then the transition you asked you just shown off at this point but yeah that was that I, was a great <laughs> part as well thank you thank you i'm glad you guys like it i, I remember i was yeah i was lifeguarding at too. the time and i would just be like on my breaks while lifeguarding i would just be sitting there just like brainstorming for that because i was just trying to yeah. like 
I, I, sp I literally spent like two weeks trying to figure out how I was going to end that part because I couldn't figure out the right really? way to do it. Every time I would put something down, I was like, ah, oh, no, that's not the right way. And I would scrap it. And I, I had yeah. probably like five versions that I went through before that final one. Where you go how long did it take you to make the out. moon? The moon? That actually was only like a day or two. That actually wasn't too bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, that. What was I the hardest take, part uh... bit of it to make? Was it hard to make or just hard to come up with the idea? Uh, with the whole part or just the ending? Just in general, is it harder for you to make something? I well, like in that situation with the part, with Emerald Realm specifically, the <sighs> the most difficult part was definitely the optimization. The reason it took me so right. long was because, like, I don't know if there's like, I don't want to like say like it, like there hasn't been a part that uses that many layers before that because there there may have been but i it, it's very rare to see a part that has that many layers of parallax like 3d layers of decoration like i had to right. i basically had to make like i think it was like 20 22 layers of decoration in like layered in front of each other that all had to be right. detailed or else it would look wrong and you know yeah. all of them had to be optimized because if any one of them was super object heavy it was a moving layer so it couldn't be yeah like oh, all yeah. of the decoration was moving so it ha i had to be super careful and it was like a fast speed so it was literally just like the worst combination to work with if it like if i didn't put like maximum effort into optimizing at any point it was just gonna fall apart hmm. it was that was definitely the hardest part but between coming up with ideas and executing them i think i think it used to be execution was much harder for me for a while hmm. but nowadays i think i'm more comfortable with rendering things like now once i have an idea in my head generally i can i can get it into gd like in a wow. pretty pretty closely and so now i would say coming up with ideas is it is like the main focus just because i think i got I, it'll take more time for sure to get it into gd just because you know, it takes a lot of build yeah pace, but but that's not the part that's like hard anymore do you have right. a do you have any parts that you've made where it's like, what? I'm, I'm already done. <laughs> I definitely, actually, I think um, my Cockmark Unleashed part kind of did that, honestly. Um, <laughs> I was like, the done. first half huh? of it. Yeah, the first half of it was going very slowly. Like the part starts out really dark and it's really intricate and it's kind of subdued. And I was trying to keep the energy low, but I didn't want it to feel boring, which was hard. Because it, you know, it, it didn't have a lot of contrast and it was very like glitchy. And so I had to like really find ways to make it interesting at the start. But then once I had it brighten up with that giant black hole art in the background, that made it like come to life. And the rest of the part almost like finished itself, honestly. I, all I had to do was really just continue to design a bit. And then I looked at it, I was like, okay, this is, this is pretty much done. I mean, you know, there, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the actually, I more, making black holes got a lot easier in 2.2. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. I think it, it depends on how much you rely on, like, the shader effects to make, like, the warping. Mm. If you don't rely on that, then, you know, it's it still can be pretty hard. But it at the very least, it's a lot easier to make it feel, like, alive and dynamic because you have the scale yeah. trigger. The scale trigger alone makes it so mm -hmm. much more interesting to look at. Hmm. I wonder... Do you have anything that you've tried to build but literally just could not execute into GD? Like, what was, if applicable, what is the hardest thing you've ever tried to make that you were just like, I can't even, how do I even, I, I, I don't know, I can't do this. Have you mm. ever had a situation like that? Definitely. I, I used to have them a lot more when I was starting out as a creator. Like, there was one time during the catharsis process that I wanted to build a supernova and I literally just couldn't. Like, I, I just didn't have the skill back then to do it. I guess so that that I gave up on. There was a lot of stuff like that back then, but nowadays, most of the things that I would consider to be really hard, usually I write it off before I even start. Cause I, I think about like, okay, no, I simply cannot pull that off right now. And usually it's like a, it's like an optimizing or time thing. It's like, okay, I'm building for a collab. I don't have six months to spend toiling away on this animation that I could just change the idea and make it work in a week. But, or it's like, you know, if I want to, should I animate this fully 
like for Tidal Wave, for example, the Cherry Team remake of Tidal Wave, I was yeah. trying to figure out ways to make interesting waves that interact with the structures. And, you know, on one hand, I could by hand make actual, like draw actual frames and animate an actual wave crashing. And that would be, you know, that's that's a possibility and that would look really sick, but can I really do that for a four times speed wave part? You know, at best, I could maybe yeah. do that like, I can maybe do that like once or twice as like, you know, interesting moments. And maybe. even then it's going to add yeah. a lot of objects because it's frame animated. Mm. And for a I'm top one, that's a problem. Idea for the person who makes the end screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, so instead, you know, I just, okay, let me, instead of fully animating a dynamic wave animation, how about I just make an interesting, good looking wave shape and then add animated objects on top. So it has like the animated texture and like gives the illusion of movement. Mm. But, you know, just stuff like that is what I usually am thinking about now. I usually try to avoid those ideas where it's like, okay, there's a good chance this is just not even like doable or I can't pull it off or that kind right. of thing. But yeah. it, there used to be, I used to get super, um, I used to get super ambitious to be like, oh yeah, I, I got this vision of a huge explosion and a hand coming out of the ground. I'm going to make that. Then I would just spend like six hours on it. Okay, I've got nowhere. <laughs> I, I can't animate a hand. What am I thinking? Yeah, you know what? Send a game. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Finn, look what I sent. Oh, God. We have a question from chat. Ooh. Um, so, it's, do you have any advice for uh, kind of less experienced creators who are trying to make something that's kind of very interesting, but still like not cluttered? It's still like uniform. And that's a good question. That's a good question. Because. There's definitely been the trend, I would say, ever since, like, the God Eater Woodkid, like, ever since that era, the trend has been for Geometry Dash levels to get more complex. So, like, you know, as time goes on, people are like, okay, add more and more layers, add more and more detail, add more and more effects, that kind of thing. And, which is very understandable, like, you know, a lot of our mediums do that for sure. And... The only problem is that the more complexity you add, that just means like you have like so many more areas to think about and so many more possible areas for mistakes. And it means that, well, also everything takes way more time and yeah. it's a lot harder to get it right. And so if you're learning, it's very difficult for sure to know what to do, because if you are still learning and you try and jump into a super complex decoration firstly you there, there's like there's an analogy for this i think it was like a professor asked his class like a pottery professor asked his class to make pots and he split them into like two groups and he had one group make one pot for the whole semester like they just worked on this one pot that whole time and he had the other group make a pot every day and at oh, the end yeah. of the semester it was the group that made a new pot every day that was better so it's like you the yeah. goal when you're learning is to do a lot of like quick studies and get practice, not to necessarily spend like a million hours on one part or to make one super complex thing. It's to focus on the simple stuff first and to practice yeah. that. I think that, yeah, some styles you I you would definitely have to know what you're doing to be able to pull it off. Yeah, and like you know, I I don't want to say like you know you you have to be good to try certain styles, but just you know be careful and know that like it's going to be very difficult to improve if you spend a lot of time on one thing or jump into the complex stuff. But yeah, if I had to, to give advice on like what specifically to do, I would say probably the colors and values are super. Those will help you a ton if you know how to work with colors you're going to be able to make most things at least look pretty good. Even if like you have some things you're still learning or like some stuff isn't going quite right. As long as your colors yeah. are good, it at the very least will be pretty pleasing to look at. And I don't just mean like knowing to mix like complementaries or using color schemes, like that's important, but also yeah. more important is probably knowing how bright or how dull to make a color. So like yeah. if you're, if you're using like, let's say a super vibrant like red and blue color scheme that's Jesus, like, yeah. like like you know 
say my profile picture, for example, something really over the top. <laughs> yeah. To you know, too many colors. You're you're gonna want to be very careful because you want to have bright, vibrant, saturated colors be your focal points, and use dull, desaturated, or dark colors as like yeah. breathing room. And if you can make yeah. your decoration very clear and understandable using those relationships, then it will stop your decoration from becoming cluttered. So just like using dark shadows to separate blocks or keeping the background dark and the blocks light or the blocks dark in the background light will help keep your design more clean and understandable than if you just say, I'm going to make a realistic background, then I'm going to make realistic blocks, then I'm going to make realistic trees. It's like, how about dark trees, light background, then try realistic? Yeah, I think it's called the uh, what's it, sixty thirty ten rule. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's that a good, a, that's a good that's example. That's a good thing to go by. And once you do that enough, it'll kind of like be programmed in. Exactly. Yeah. Like if uh, you want to look things up, the sixty thirty ten rule is a great one. Yeah. Yeah, that's in that was I think in cinematography. I mean, all of it applies. Like if you're looking at like improving cinematography or like photography or just art it it all translates to gd is what i've seen yeah definitely it's you know it's an art form at the end of the day for sure yeah i'm still here Did we have a <laughs> we had a donation that said cook any plans on making a solo if not why <laughs> my friends have been on me about this i definitely do want to make a solo i have for a long time i actually had some some good progress on a solo before two point it was really unfortunate i was making like i was genuinely on track to make a solo and then 2.2 got announced i was like shoot i just don't have enough time to finish it i'm gonna put it on hold and then you know 2.2 got delayed so maybe i could have even finished it in that time but you know at, at the end of the day that's on hold and I will say right now, I do have a couple of solos I'm actively working on right now, and I do want to finish. Hmm. And what I, kind I, of difficulty? Definitely on the easier side, you know, yeah. I, they're not going to be like two star, but they're not going to be like extreme demon. They're going to be like easy demon, probably somewhere around nice. there. Um, let me see. I might actually have. It, we all know it's a catharsis remake. Oh, yeah, totally. Definitely. <laughs> it's going to yeah, be called yeah, Cathartic. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic Wave 2. <laughs> yeah. No, just Sonic Wave 2. Chaotic, Chaotic Wave version wave. 6. <laughs> By Ozzy the Dragon? Or Ozzy Flavor? No, yeah, I think Easy Demon is good because it's not like two star where you play and it's dumb, but you're everyone can pretty much beat it. But mm -hmm. you're still playing it for long enough to kind of appreciate it. I think it's a, it's a good balance in terms of difficulty. Yeah, yeah, I mean, damn, we are nearing completion now. I kind of, I kind of logged out there. I was just kind of listening. <laughs> this is a screenshot of one of my solo. Uh, I posted it to Twitter at one point. If you guys, I'll show it. See. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. Reminds damn. me of that. Weirdly, reminds me of like a Terraria snow biome. Oh yeah, I think I, I took inspiration from that at one point. But this was oh, yeah. the funny thing was that this was two point one, and I had you have like a little sword that you can attack creatures with. Um, and you have like yeah. a. Yeah. We allowed mark. to show this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you put it on Twitter. Jeez, that kind of reminds me of um, you played the end by Zionox. It reminds me a lot of that. Oh yeah. The beginning of that. I mean, it's not very comparable, but in terms of just like the vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more. It's Hold on. Sim yeah, Jesus Christ. That that's sick, dude. Thank you. I'm gonna go on a whim and say this is good. This is <laughs> sick. Thank you. Yeah, I wish I'd gotten this on 2.1, but I'm gonna make something. You know. I like, like the sunbeams. Yeah. Well. Is that supposed to be dude, like I don't a? Think any, I don't think if this came out, anyone would be saying, "Yo, this is so outdated." What the hell, bro? Stuck in 2.1. <laughs> is this supposed to be like a sun beaming into the cave? Yeah, yeah, like, like you, yeah. you start in that Gold snow biome, then you go into a cave, and then you are in this like underground like lake area. It is like the end. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Really, I didn't even like it's, realize yeah. that. I, swear I can't remember. To God, it starts out in a snowy place and it goes to a cave. 
Where is it? <laughs> Mid, yeah. Jeez. Pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot. I'll just show it. It's very different, but it has a similar vibe to it. My fault, guys. I messed up with this one. Four guys. Four guys. All right. Well, I'll show this oh, one. Never mind. Yeah, this it is, this is lower into the cave. Why, why it does. It goes into a cave. What? It goes into darkness or something. I think the pure two Dness of the angle is so terrarian to me. Oh, like, yeah, that's, that 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 kind of it's so mm -hmm. it's so mm -hmm. like engraved into my brain. Cave exploring in that game, so I can't help but be reminded by it. <laughs> yeah, I I like the style of having layers that are like somewhat graphic and two D looking because I think it fits the platformer style well and it helps like, yeah. the gameplay actually read. Oh yeah, this is cool. Jeez. Is there a bar on the side where you're like collecting stuff? What is that? Like, oh, I think that's, that's a two that, like thing. A, that bar is something I made actually in two point one, and it's like a cooldown meter for a sword I made. You used a two oh. player controls in two point one. Like did you see uh, for a sword? Huh. Did you see D Joxy's uh, FPS game? Mm, he made he made a have. working he made a working RPG and uh, LMG. <laughs> Oh my gosh. In a platformer level. <laughs> Joxy actually makes the most like insane effects ever. Joxy is very underappreciated when it comes to effects. Oh yeah, that guy is. Well, I need to make a, he needs to make skilled. a new level. I used to make fun of him all the time for this. Of his um one of his only rated levels is that old I think it was early 2.1 like insane demon or something and it's just aged like milk <laughs> <laughs> and whenever i want to fuck with him i just start playing it in the call and he's like i, <laughs> I haven't talked to him in a while though yeah if the fish can hear me i love you buddy joxy is like one of the most underrated creators in my mind like if you ask someone who is the best effect creator okay i'll say like sputniks but then I'll say like Woozy. Which I mean I, Sputniks cool is effects. more tech. Joxy is fucking up there with Sputniks. Yeah. I think on a technical level, Sputniks is like so otherworldly. He has a the very dude, like yeah. yeah. Cause it's a lot of like script writing and importing and yeah. you know, understanding cool the way the entire game is structured and not just the editor. Yeah. He made, a, he made a fucking programming language. Dude, Flash made a working synthesizer in 2.2. Uh, that that was really insane. cool. Someone, now somebody yeah. just needs to make the Moog synth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. Somebody make it now. Okay, yeah, make a 404. Like, I'm um, looking at what we have left. How long? 20 minutes. You guys are... You guys are curious here's a um here's a screenshot of an early part like so i was working on a platformer and you can see here kind of what i'm doing with my process where i lay out these shapes like the big sky colors the big shapes in the ground first and i'm decorating it like i'm detailing it afterwards yeah right. yeah that makes sense so you get your kind of composition there first and then you kind of fill in the detail exactly afterwards. yeah exactly so that, I think that's what people that's what people do painting as well. Yeah. And then it eventually becomes the finished product once I've Jesus. actually detailed it. Oh my god, wait, I didn't show what that. The fuck. Let me show that too. This is for right, an upcoming just, secret collab that um you guys you guys can show this image, but it's for an upcoming big collab that has me and a couple other notable creators in it, like um That's sick. So good. I like I like the crescent on the on the mountain. Oh, thank you. Damn. This reminds me of like getting shown shit by like trip lashing cool. <laughs> the guy would just like randomly show the most insane shit you've ever seen. <laughs> That's what happens when you just know really Jeez. talented people. They'll just be doing shit that it's like what <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they just show you and they're like, yo, is this cool? <laughs> Glad you guys same with like talking it. to like, same. It's the same thing with talking to like really smart people. Mm. I'm sure we all have friends that are just stupid yeah. smart. I remember one time I was at my friend's apartment, 
and somebody came over and was playing like calculus videos because he wanted to show us. And I'm just like, dude, I don't even. He wants to show calculus videos. Okay, that guy's a true nerd. <laughs> like I was going to Harvard. Jeez. I was like, bro, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I, I know. No, I that's, think that's I don't want to like dox him. They're obsessed with. I don't want to dox him, but I'm pretty sure he's getting a mathematics degree. I'm not gonna say where, but I'm pretty well, sure. Well, yeah, obviously, if he's fucking that interested in calculus, then I'm, he's destined. I would have to double that's... check. I haven't talked to him in a while. Is it but... Tau? Is it that guy? That uh, Tau. Sh- sh- uh, send me the channel. I'll tell you. Like it's like visual demonstrations of you know math. No, wait, no, not the the channel isn't called Terence Tao. That's like some famous maths guy. Oh, I don't know. Is he the Bob Ross of math? No, he's like the young Sheldon of math. <laughs> I, I, I don't think <laughs> yeah. we can be friends after that. <laughs> no, but he is. Oh my god. He was like five and he like won a maths thing. So cock. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to see your opinion on this. There are a lot of remakes of levels in the game. Hundreds, yes. probably a thousand. Yeah. What do you think are the absolute best level remakes in the game? It can be hard Ooh. levels, easy levels, it doesn't matter. That's a good question. Um, the best remakes. I mean, I'm obviously biased towards Edge of Destiny, but I mean, that's not like EOD. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I would say EOD. I think that EOD is a tough one to judge anyway, even, you know, considering that I'm in the level two, which makes it hard, just because Blade of Justice is just so timeless that it's like, mm-hmm. if you try and compare the two, it's almost like unfair to, to even yeah. say which one's better, because I think that Baj still holds up perfectly well today. But anyway, besides that level, I think that um, that's another good one. I think that would you consider reanimation to be like a sequel or a remake of Death Moon, or is it? Do you think it's just its own thing? Reanimation. I feel like no, it's its own like, thing. That's a redeco reanimate. Or reanimate. Sorry, the original. Yeah. But mm. that was a that no, that was a remake of Death Moon. So it's a remake of a remake of Death Moon. And yeah, I think people reanimate are... the one the Terran level is one of the my favorite yeah, remakes. If you people are gonna light me up for this, but that's just not one of my favorite levels. The Terran level? The the remake. Oh the remake? No, the remake. I think it's reanimate, right? No, re reanimation. Yeah, no, reanimate's the remake of reanimation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the just... animation is the Terran level. Okay, yeah. reanimation. Remake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just thought I got mixed up. People are gonna reanimation. Like... The original is the one. People that are gonna I, hate I really me love. for this. Oh, I love the yeah. original too. People are gonna hate me for this though. I just wasn't that impressed by the remake. No. Do you know that that part near the end where it's like? Whoosh, that's. So <laughs> I just don't I... know why it didn't impress me like as much no, as I felt like it would. I mean, it's I good. Don't get me it, wrong. I was like, actually, are experiencing another worldly feeling watching it. I don't that know. Crazy. I um, me and my friends, we actually went through and analyze the level to some degree i because we were really interested mm-hmm. in that and i think that um i personally i i like the level and i actually i think it made some mistakes like i think that here and there there were some things done that i personally don't think were rendered or executed let me let me double way. check this let me make sure this is the level i'm hmm. talking about something but, wrong but here's the thing here's the thing yeah i'm thinking of reanimate yeah Although I think that some mistakes were made or like some parts weren't quite executed how I would like, especially in terms of like, you know, colors or glow, that kind of thing. I think that mm-hmm. the the actual like vision and like what the creators are going for was really, it was creative and am, ambitious a lot of the time, which makes me yeah. respect it, even though it has some, some flaws here. Yeah. Like it's it wasn't kind of like a soulless a... remake. It's oh, kind yeah. of like the same situation with Lunar Demise where it's like, how could you even like live up to that? Yeah, like, you have to do it perfectly. Is, uh, that one was a tough situation because that level got flamed yeah. on Twitter. It was, yeah. Do I don't you know. remember? I feel like you yeah. really have to live up to the original when yeah, you were remake, and when you try to do that with like Death Moon, yeah, I would I would it's say hard. this. I think that like remakes should be given a chance so long as it's 
you know, us like a work of passion and actual creativity. Yeah. It's not just like a cash grab, you know, for the cloud. No. Mm-hmm. But if you are the one making the remake, you have to be ready for the fact that like you personally are the one that's saying, here's the original. I want to make a level to compare and add on to that. So if people compare the two, that's that's exactly what you're doing. You know, you can't be un- like surprised or upset if people compare the two levels. You have to be ready for that, which is like, you know, that's the danger. If you're remaking a really good level, be prepared yeah. to be put up against some pretty high standards. Like some people don't like Edge of Destiny simply oh. because Baj is so good and they think that it wasn't good enough as a remake. And I, I have to respect that just because Baj is that good and we were the ones mm-hmm. who decided to remake it. You know, who was saying, and it whether it proved good, those people re- wrong is up to them. <laughs> mm. I mean, you know, maybe maybe it's a taste thing. I mean, it's, but like you know, at the end of the day, if people compare the two, mm. it's the kind of thing we gotta respect, I guess. Yeah, it's because you, you worked on so many remakes. I know. I <laughs> now that I'm now Aerial that Gleam. You did all of Aerial Gleam. Are we now that, that you're I mean, mentioning does that it, count? I would. I don't know. I guess. I guess technically, I think it counts. You want to know what one of my favorite remakes are? It's really old now, but I still think Bloodlust is amazing. Oh, that's no, such yeah. a classic. Blood I Lust. love Bloodlust. I should have yeah. brought that up. That one is. It's, I love Bloodlust, man. It's one of my favorite levels. Yeah, I agree. So I really good. love Bloodlust. I, if you want a really hot take from me, okay, now I just remembered one. I, I do not like Yada. You don't. I don't like Yadagrasu, but I love Blood. Oh, wow. I can see that. I, Bloodlust is just so awesome. <laughs> I like Yata, but it's because of the... Um, I like Yata. What do you but... call it? It's the... because of the nostalgia and the look, hype. Look, if I, like, at the time, like, the nostalgia and, like, the importance of the level and all that, that is very good. That, like, that stuff makes me like Yata. But if I'm, like, yeah. purely looking at the decoration, I don't like the decoration yeah. that much. And that's, I think it, it's kind of raw, though. It, it is. A lot of people really like the vibe and the rawness it has, and I can't deny yeah. that. It does have a good vibe. I just Something about the structuring, I think, bothers me in a lot of the parts. And it's, it's, yeah. I think it's just a personal taste thing. Does that mean you like Tidal Wave more than Yatta? Oh, God. Don't, don't make me say that. <laughs> oh. You know what? No, I refuse to say that. All no, right, look, you look. refuse to say look, it. Look, I like Tidal Wave, but, but I don't like it that much, all right? It's been implied for... I am being advised to like not it. answer that question. <laughs> yeah, that would... I think yeah, that would get... Your manager says no. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying something that's going to get me cancelled on Twitter. No, no, my PR team... People would just agree with you if you said that. Like, my yeah, PR team is like, that. what are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, They're I'm tapping you on the shoulder and being like... It's... It's actually hard to, to to decide which one I like because Tidal Wave has some execution issues, but I re- don't they don't bother me as much because it's such a long and like vibe mm-hmm. based level. Like the, the thing that carries it is the vibe for me. But yeah, Yadagarasu has some parts that are just genuinely really good design. Like some of the parts towards the middle, especially, are just like they're just straight up incredible in design. Part, in level. There's just Hulk is a remake. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, <laughs> the colleague, can that's you agree with me realized. about um, respecting Tidal Wave in a sense of that it really it tried something no one ever did for a top one or a extreme? Yes, yes. In that I, regard, it makes it objectively unique, in my opinion. I I can like, agree with that. Like poor execution aside, there's no level that does that tried to do like a beach theme for a level that hard. Yeah, and yeah, all the no, all the I, flag I it gets the for song. yeah, all the flag it yeah. gets for being poorly executed, I think is justified to a manner, and at the same time, I feel like that should incentivize something better to top it. Tsunami, <laughs> stop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's in the racks. I mean, there was in in tidal wave. There were some specific spots where you could say like, okay, you took inspiration from this level. That part's not unique, but the core like vision for the level that is unique like a top one with a song like that and a vibe like that like hasn't been done before and i think that only works if it's fun because the whole i feel like this vibe is creating like this like fun beach themed vibe which is i think is cool Mm -hmm. for a top one and i think what solidified the fact that i like the level is that i've spoken you know i haven't spoken every top one player but 
I've spoken to a lot of top players and mm-hmm. they've said that they actually think the level is fun. So I think because yeah. they pulled that off and because of this vibe, I think it's a good level. Just like at least in the core idea of what it is. Dude, there are some people who I know who literally hate it with a burning passion. Oh yeah, I know some <laughs> people that hate it as well. And, you know, <laughs> I, I can understand why, but also it's like, I mean, it's not that big a deal, man. Like what's, what's, what, what's yeah, the problem? It's just, like, I don't think it's that. Honestly, this is, I don't, this probably doesn't hold as much weight as I think it does, but if people hate it so much, why don't they just, why don't people just make something harder to top it? To have a better top one represent the game. Like, that's mm. a real question. Well, it has to be verified. That's the hard part. Well, as long as it's verified. But, but I mean, was, true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, I hate to be like, go make another top one because I feel like, you know, advocating oh, for yeah. more and more top ones is a bad idea. But also, it's like, you're, you're right to some degree. I think it's like, you know, if you really don't like it that much, go, go, you know, the community will eventually something. make something harder. Yeah, I mean, Channel get, your anger at Tidal Wave and gain the skill to honestly harder. do you think flame wall is harder right now i mean hard to say but that could that like that's a perfect contender there i don't think so no no from what i've heard like people in uh the group chat swyborg literally saying it would take him like at least six digits to beat tidal wave my god <laughs> he says that he thinks it's harder than his original version or as hard as his original version of eternal night so I think Flame War is like number two, probably. I wouldn't say it's harder, but I haven't played Flame War much. But in terms of the skill needed, it's, you know, when people play a level a lot and they can beat it like twice in a row, yeah, you can just memory. apply that to each of the parts and just beat it. But with something like Tidal Wave, you need shit tons of skill to beat that. Just I think it's away. also because of the way it's buffed. Like the corridors are not tight, but the spikes make it look so yeah. much easier than it is. Because most of the time oh, in the yeah. waves, you're dying on the spikes. You're not even dying on the structures. That That's what, from what I can tell, I'm not a top player. That is what I think makes it that hard. Or at least, you know, what I can gather. Yeah, I mean, it's just so hard. It goes, it goes above my pay grade on this one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can no clip it, so my authorities are no better, no worse than tricks. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, in terms of just from playing it through myself, and from opinions of other players who are actually good and who are beating hard levels, Tidal Wave is extremely difficult. Like yeah. no one's even close to beating it yet. I always it's... hear, I hear nothing but good things about the gameplay. Like it's just, it is well yeah, made. People gameplay. like it's really fun. That's what Swyborg was saying. He was saying. This is actually really fun to play, which is weird. Yeah, that's, and I think that's, that's really refreshing to see. And I think that's like the big thing about why I like this level. It's just kind of refreshing. Mm-hmm. You know, we had a lot of like the, you know, slaughterhouse type demons, like the Acherons, you know, we had a lot of those and I, I, I don't dislike those levels. I think that those are great levels, but it's nice to see something like this. Or, like, I think another factor, enjoyed too. I think another factor is that it's also way longer than most top ones. True. Like what? Like, True. however yeah. many minutes. It long. is like the anti top one in like every it's way. It's also pretty unbalanced. Like, apparently the first part is like easy demon difficult, uh, easy extreme demon difficulty, and it's like thirty to thirty nine is just way harder than anything else in the level. Sheesh. The mini wave in the first wave is like the hardest shit ever. Jeez. And then the rest of it is also pretty hard, but that's like, yeah. I would know I beat it's... it, but I just didn't yeah, upload yeah, it. Yeah. I didn't upload it out of respect for Trick GMD. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look for this level. It was a it was a Dorami level, and it had a beach theme. As your Fiesta, I can't remember it. Huh? As your Fiesta. That is the only other beach themed extreme. I've As your Fiesta. Azure Fiesta. Isn't that one also long? Uh, I don't know. I just remember recording it. Call I have a really interesting uh it is potential take. Okay. No, it wasn't Azure Fiesta, it was a It sequel. doesn't really um I mean it it could apply or not. It's just a very subjective thing, but are there any are there any trends or common practices that creators do that you just don't get 
like for example like invis group 999 or or the black layer being four for some people or just random things like that or is it just completely arbitrary because it really doesn't matter Mm. i would say i think 2.1 kind of like broke up a lot of like this like the strange things creators were doing that i personally didn't like like I think towards the end of 2.1, there was kind of a lot of slop going all around. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There, there was, there was a couple practices that were getting on my nerves. But I think recently, you know, people are just totally expanding with their what they're doing in the editor, which I really appreciate. I think there were there were, I did have a couple of gripes though in 2.1, which I guess could still apply if people are still building like this now. Like I, I didn't like when people would try and do like a super intricate art style, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't create like a convincing 3D parallaxing effect. And they would, it would look like you're literally just playing like a painting that's scrolling across the screen. Like I feel like that's, yeah, that's not very, like it, it, it would just take me out of it. Like maybe that was the intention, but it would take me out of it sometimes. Well, it or, wouldn't feel as immersive. Yeah, exactly. Like I, it feels like the goal of the style that they're doing is to be immersive, but then you know, they didn't put in the time to make the 3D feel. Yeah. Like. It, it feels like, you know, just have like this like wall of colors moving. Yeah. But what do you think? Oh, yeah, go on. I mean, just stuff like that. I mean, there, there was a couple other things, but most of it's gone now. Like, you know, obviously there was that era with like, you know, the rock spam era. That was a funny one. But... <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, uh, what do you think of people or what do you, what would you have to say to people that kind of, see what you're doing in your success from it and emulate your style or like because the amount of levels i've seen the you know they have the lightning or just like elements from your style in them Mm -hmm. yeah or using your style quite obviously what would you say about that it's it puts me in like a kind of an interesting spot because I want to be very careful about like what kind of like you know i don't want to give the wrong impression because on one hand like i really i really like seeing that like people are inspired by what i do and want to do something similar and i I really like seeing people take what i do and make something new with it and it's awesome to see that and that's cool and i hope people keep doing that and then but you know there's also like you know the other side it's like okay is it a good thing if people just like take what i do and try and just replicate it because that kind of makes what I'm doing less special because, you know, if if, yeah. you, if you see a similar style to what I'm doing everywhere, it's going to be less interesting. So with then when I yeah. turn around and try and do it, I can't really do it anymore. So that's kind of yeah. unfortunate because it's like, okay, I made this new style and I'd like to continue doing it. But then if everyone else does that, I kind of have to like keep switching up my style so yeah. that people don't get bored of it. Like when I make parts, Gosh. generally, I have to think like, okay, people have seen me do this before and it's been copied a couple of times. I need to not do that or else people are going to be bored of it like i actively have to think about that which which is unfortunate but it it also like it's it keeps me on my toes which is probably probably a good thing oh yeah and so you know i I would just say like as long as people are like you know using it you know genuinely like they're not just like ripping and they're just like they're actually using it as a reference and trying to learn from it and like build off of it and that's great that's perfect that's what i would want it's just Mm -hmm. you know as long as i just don't want people to be just like okay he well, the structure, I'm going to try and copy it block for block and then change the color. Yeah. As long I as it's not that, it's okay. Definitely mm-hmm. a lot. If you look at all the best creators, mm-hmm. besides that, if you, they never really repeat themselves. Yeah. They have a style, but they don't repeat themselves. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't think of any... Like, even Minecraft, like, never repeats himself. Mm-hmm. Any game never that's true from what i've seen everything looks different yeah i think definitely it's an important skill to be like diverse in your skill set to be able to switch up what you're doing and create something new and interesting every time i think that that is a good skill to have and And trying to build that up better by doing that anyway yeah definitely definitely because if you know how to do like four different styles you're going to learn the patterns of all four and be able to create a new style of those four patterns Yeah. Well, we have reached oh. well, actually one minute till two hours. Ten oh one. Someone has college work to do. Oh yeah, dude, I've got this. 
This is linear algebra, Simon. It was fine oh. for the first half, but it was, it's kicking my ass now in the second half. Linear algebra. Are you ready, are you ready to wrap up? I think up? I've heard of that before. What, wait, what does it involve? So, like, if you have, let's say, like, x plus y plus z equals zero, like, just an equation with some variables, right? Oh, right. If you have, like, let's say, multiple now of those equations. Oh, so yeah, like, and you do simultaneous equations. Yes, exactly. Just stuff like that, using matrices oh, yeah, yeah. for that. Yeah, okay, yeah. I thought I'd heard about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done some maths. I took, if anyone in the UK would know, I did further maths A level. So that is my level that I got to, which is basically like kind of just preparation for people and go do maths at like university. But gotcha. I, I went to university and did like film production. So hmm. not that's, that's cool. No, they are making us do maths now. I have a Fourier series test on like two days, and I don't oh know boy. how to do Fourier series. So good luck. Fun, but yeah, good uh, luck. Good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> is I uh, yeah I don't know. Is is more of a surprise for people who did like uh, musical theater for the last two years instead of doing maths. They're struggling a lot more. So at least I got that. But mm. <coughs> oh my god, I'm getting a just eat advert. Are we ready to wrap? I don't know. Is there anything else um, that you want to talk about? I, I do have closing statements I'm going to ask Kolok, but... Okay. Yeah, you I ready? don't have anything else that comes immediately to mind. I, I, might, go, I might go on a joyride. I don't know. <laughs> it is kind of windy outside, though. A windy joyride? You guys haven't been able to hear it, but this whole time... Sometimes the wind will blow really hard in the background and you guys won't hear it, but I'll just hear in the background. I'll hear <laughs> like a ghost. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Literally. Maybe there is a ghost. Oh, there is. Well, um, I guess uh, we're going to start wrapping now. Wrapping right. up. Do you have closing questions is what you said. Oh, you yes, have. I do. Yes, I do. Let's hear your closing questions. Oh, look, there's Finn. Blue GMD. I can fix that. What the? <laughs> it's because this is a Hello. PNG. See? Yo. There we <laughs> go. Oh. I was trying to appear. So, um, Kulik, do you think any, do you think there's any creators that you think are underrated and deserve a shout out? Because now would be, a, now would be the time. Yeah. Now would be a good time. That is a, that is a good question. You could, you could just it... lightning shout them out. There, there are a lot of creators. A lot of them, though, are definitely already have some of a platform. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people here already have heard of um, Nicrodox. He's he, I've worked with him a yep. lot over the past like couple of years, and he's improved a ton. Um, yeah, that guy's a master of rainbows. That guy is, dude. <laughs> he's he's gotten a, just a lot better over the years, and I think that yeah. he's going to keep improving. So. He's he's actually working on a level right now that um I think has a ton of potential. It's a um there's a huge platformer level being built right now that I think is going to have like dozens of rooms that you have to beat. And they're all like extremely creative. Like there's huh. one where you're like inside of an infomercial, there's one where you like are like you have the, it's like a dual mode and you have a ball bouncing on your head. They have to use like a basketball to put into a oh. hoop. It's like, <laughs> that sounds cool. Yeah. There's like tons and tons of gimmicks and then also just normal like platforming just mixed. And it's like probably one of the most interesting levels I've seen, but he's working on that. And there's a bunch of other really good up and coming creators working on that. There's, um, what's another good up and coming one. I'm also working with a creator named Adrift, who is also getting a lot better. Um, hmm. So I give a shout out to him. He's working with me on a collab for a different platformer. It's the platformer that I showed you guys the screenshot of, like the pink and oh yeah, the tree, the dreamlike one. He's also working on that platformer. I've got a couple creators I'm working with on that. Um, yeah, I haven't heard of uh, Adrift before. Yeah, he's I probably would have thought was like active, but. Yeah. He's he's not like totally unheard of or anything. He's he's been around for a little while and he's in some pretty important teams. Like he's in the purgatory and stuff like that. Right. But um yeah, he's been getting a lot better. I saw his stuff recently. Um 
think who are some other good ones. Yeah. I, I mean, I can always list off some names. Like Roto is another great creator. GD Iris, she's really good. Um, Iris, yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of great parts from Iris, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He he's just extremely. Waterhouse. Yeah, very consistent Start creator. Level, starting with A and Nemesis. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hell Pegasus. He's been around for years. He's oh still, yeah, yeah. He's still getting better today, Hell and Pegasus, I think he definitely. he deserves more of a following. I think, although his his videos do do great. I think Hell Pegasus has a very well documented evolution of skill. He does other. his. It's it's funny. He kind of did like the same he's thing for a little while, and then he just exploded outwards and and just became like a super diverse creator out of nowhere. That really cool yeah, was really cool. We do have some more questions, but we don't have to ask those. I mean, we're, we're if kind you've of got anything, I got time. If you, you I mean, it's just, uh, so this one's actually from the chat. People are wondering what happened to your uh, one spike challenge, because apparently you can uh, participated in that, which oh, I did yeah. not know about. <laughs> yeah. And I guess people I, were wondering what happened to that. It's too bad. I, I just got really busy with some finals, or I think it was midterms or something. Or, All right. Maybe it wasn't. It, it, I got busy with something that week. I don't remember what it was exactly, but I wasn't able to finish it. I didn't have a huge amount of progress. It was only just a um like a scrolling background for the most part. I wanted to make like a a giant casino actually and make some like cartoony oh. like battle scenes and stuff. But I, I I really didn't get too far into it. Yeah, maybe I'll finish it up and make a video about it later on. Mm. That'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. And the other one, what happened with your collab with Zender Game? Zender game, yeah, that that one is is a little unfortunate. We started on a on a level, and we had some really fun brainstorming going on, and we started on a few things. But um, I think he got caught up with some IRL work and that kind of stuff, and he's been he's been just really busy over the last couple of years, so we had to put that one on hold. And I think that's that one's put to sleep for now, at least since you know that's he's he's busy. It, it's too bad, but it, it was fun at least talking with him and brainstorming. Hopefully, oh. at some point we can bring it back. That reminds me, what creator would you most like to collab with? <laughs> Apart from Zendy Game or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, good question. Good question. Um, maybe like a... Uh, either like a big effects, like well-established, like... Um, classic creator like Sir Ponge or Spudniks or maybe Blee. Right. Because I think that with his consistency and speed and maybe some of like my you know, some of my style mixed in, we could make something really cool. Huh. Well you could reach like a happy medium in the middle yeah. where it's like very polished but also like yeah accessible. Yeah, and especially now in 2.2, it's super nice because, you know, now all of a sudden <laughs> I can make stuff in half the objects or even less. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so at least now I can probably work with him on a on a accessibility level. Mm. Yeah, that that would be I think no one would be against a blee colored collab. <laughs> yeah, we've I I'll say this, me and him have spoken in DMs a couple of times about collabing and I think like we'd both be happy to do it at some point. We've just had our own stuff to do. Yeah, well, yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, definitely like to see that. That'd be dope. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll make it happen at some point for sure. All right, last and final question before we sign out. It's a very general question. Ready? I'm ready. What is your biggest advice for up and coming creators? Just as general as it gets. What is your best advice for people who are willing, who are trying to improve at create creating? Hmm. I already mentioned earlier about like the whole, like, you know, focus on your composition and colors, then detail. That's, you know, that's like the specific thing, but I would say super general, just try a lot of things and don't get too locked in and focused 
on one specific style or making sure that something turns out perfectly because mm. especially when you're first starting out you're gonna a lot of it's gonna be kind of luck or inconsistent just because you know you haven't built up that eye yet so yeah if you are tempted to spend you know ages and ages just perfectly polishing one thing i would advise against that if your goal is simply just to improve if you want to improve you know build quickly try and get good colors and composition and just spread your skill set out because if you do that you'll find your niche rather than forcing yourself into one that maybe doesn't come as natural yeah i think yeah as anything creative finding your style is like like learning the basics and finding your style is like what you have to do yeah yeah and as long as you know how to learn from other people's art you'll be able to improve if you mm. as long as you aren't like if you know how to take from an art without um using it as a crutch and you know how to figure out what the essence of that art is you'll be able to improve very quickly like one good good exercise to do is to take two creators that you really like that have different styles and try and combine their styles into one because in order yeah. to do that you need to figure out like okay what about their style is it that i like and then you have to try and take that and create something new with a different style that kind of shows that you're using it in the right way i think hmm. <laughs> we both said that at the same time what just hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah no yeah i completely understand what you're saying i think mm -hmm. that's definitely yeah, I get like, you know, if you like Bly and you like, I don't know, and you like uh, Sender Game, go try and take two like styles that they've done and see if you can make something that's your own based on what they've done. Yeah, Bars, that would be a pretty <laughs> fun exercise, I think. I think. Or even just two levels, yeah. you know, like take some platformer level that came out recently and then some 2.1 design level and see if you can combine their like the essence of what they're doing you know how are they using colors how are they using shapes hmm. yeah was... well i'm not a creator or anything but like, i do want to end up you know working on films and like cinematography in the future so it completely it applies in the exact same way mm -hmm. so i definitely think looking at that as well um is always beneficial like just get some hobbies like do art or stuff or like look at art and it will also apply definitely i think that there's this one concept that i've heard talked about by some professors and people who teach art classes before and it's um i don't know if there's like a actual like, academic term or anything like that but the a lot of people talk about having this sort of like visual library that you kind of have that you build up mm. over the years where even if necessarily like let's say you're worried about if you have what it takes to be like an artist or that kind of thing like sure some people are more creative than others like that's kind of part of that's built in to like how like you know your genetics and that kind of thing and some of it is just like an experience thing where yeah even if you are worried about if you're creative enough or that kind of thing if you've spent time looking at other people's art, learning from it, and you have actually like gathered this huge library of ideas in your head, you're going to be able to come up with awesome ideas on your own just because you have so many references to pull from. Like, let's say you've seen a thousand good levels, like we're like, you know, tens of thousands, then if you are going to build your own and you need ideas, you have this giant bank that you can pull from where you can take two ideas, combine them. That's, that's your own thing. You can now build from yeah. that, start adding things to it. You know, it's like, oh, I liked how they use colors in this, but I didn't like the style. I'm going to take the stuff from this, the colors from this, mash them together in my head. Now I have something that I'm working with. Or even if, you know, you're taking it from places, like it's a logical progression. It's creating something new. Like that, that is your own form of creativity, regardless yeah. of 
like where you're at as a creator or if you think you're you know an artist or that kind of thing yeah i think gb is a good way to kind of implement that as well because by default you are building with parts of different levels anyway yeah so yeah it's a collage it is already that in itself exactly yeah so yeah i mean in the end you just have to you can't sit around thinking you have to do it yeah yeah like, it's just go even if it's shit just like make it and mm -hmm. it's get better if if you ever find yourself like just like not understanding why you're improving not knowing what's going on a good place to look is to try and get like a list going of like fundamental pieces of art that are fundamental concepts for art so like let's say i build this block design in a part and it just isn't working and i don't know why and like this has happened over and over again i've been trying to make block designs lately the past couple of weeks and there's i haven't been liking them chances are there's going to be some core reason that you can figure out for a lot of these designs and if you have a list of things you can go through, you'll be able to figure it out and then you can fix your mistakes or at least know how to not make it again. So this generally is gonna fall into like a few categories, either your colors are wrong. So like things in, or values, uh, I sometimes combine this, but so values is like how bright or dark something is. Colors is like the hue. If you have like, you know, a bad color scheme, like if it's not like, you know, good complementary colors, or if it's one color just doesn't go well with another, or it could be one color is too bright, one's too dark, or it could be your shapes are wrong. I think a lot of people when they're starting out, they don't realize how important shapes are. Shapes are extremely important. So like if you build a design that has, that has like tons of these details, but the outer like silhouette of the structure is just a rectangle, it's going to feel yeah, off. Yeah, all the square. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like just look through those things like if a de design doesn't feel right chances are you're gonna you're gonna build this up so like you do it automatically but at first go through that list is it a color problem no i think the colors are good okay is it a value problem or is it the shapes is do i have bad shapes do the shapes not flow well together is it just they're all boring they're all just rectangles so it's not interesting or they don't they don't go well together so is it like i have these rectangles that doesn't mix well with the curvy shape i have here mm -hmm. or is it a texture thing like a lot of people when they're starting out they see intricate well-made parts and i think okay if i make this texture covering everything that's gonna look good when in reality texture is probably one of like the least important things and it, it kind of requires you to have the other things right for it to work so you kind of want to yeah. make texture the last thing you do but anyway if you have a list like that and you're ever stuck go through that list and that'll help you decide what you need to do because once you figure out what's going wrong it's a lot less demotivating. The, the most demotivating thing, for me at least as a creator, is when something goes wrong consistently and I just don't know why. But once I figured it out, then I have a pathway forward. And if you can do that, then you're gonna stay motivated. But yeah, that's my, that's my TED talk. Well, yeah, <laughs> I think that is definitely very useful uh, advice to anyone who's you know so. thinking of creating and wants to become you know a great creator that is definitely good advice yeah i, I i'm really happy with how things are going with 2.1 i think i mean 2.2 i think a lot of people are really expanding out and getting super creative yeah. now that there's so many options and that's awesome to see yeah and also just new people being brought to the game i think that's exactly yeah 2.2 and i think that with all of these new tools like sure, the editor. I'm not going to deny it's super complicated and it's it's got a lot to learn right now. It but sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I'll give you guys that. It's it's definitely that's 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 tough. But I think the environment for learning new things as a creator, I would say, is probably better now because a lot of what we're doing now, like a lot of the things that the community is looking for, is good new ideas, not necessarily execution. I think towards the end of 2.1. The community was very focused on like was this level polished the right way was it actually like built in a very skillful like well-established way that did not look amateurish that kind of thing yeah but nowadays you have so many tools that you can make something like 
very, very good looking and super creative very quickly. That's simple. And that's going to get you just as much attention as like something made by Bli, who like yeah. is extremely skilled and consistent. Like you, if, if you can come up with a good idea and have just some good composition, you like, and it's simple, that'll work just as well. Just because there's so many new creative like gimmicks or strange gameplay or effects or ideas that you could do with all these new tools. Yeah. I think now it's more like, does it look cool instead of does it look rate worthy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is... Mm -hmm. I'm just like, is this something new? Because, like, there's so many... Like, everyone's, like, seeing all these brand new ideas and new things you can do. Yeah. It's not just all things derived from other things. It's, like, totally yeah. new things for the game. And you can totally find new things for the game because we have so many new tools now. Yeah, I think it's yep. definitely back to how it was when updates were coming out regularly, where it's just, like, people are always making new stuff. There's no conversation. Is this rate worthy? No <laughs> like that's not really here. I feel like that's not really here anymore. I mean, it's still yeah. there, but people are kind of doing their own things now. Especially with platformers, mm -hmm. people don't really have a gauge of what is like a rate worthy platformer. You can <laughs> make a cool platformer, and it'll probably get rated. Yeah, so. it's it's really cool to see. Like people are making like you know, um, some of my friends that are creators, they've made super simple parts that in. 2.1 i would be questioning is this going to get rated but even though it totally deserves to but i think now in 2.2 even though it's super simple it's totally going to get rated because they made it in a super creative and intentional yeah. way yep yeah. <laughs> i'm not yeah. gonna lie i'm so tired <laughs> i don't know why Are you? Yeah. What? How, how late you is know? it for you guys me? it's 22 25 30 Eesh. No, it's five thirty for you. You're yeah. I'm I'm chill. Well, I don't know. I don't know why. It's ten thirty for me. It's all yeah. those. It's all that protein you're eating. You're digesting. Ready for your nap. Yeah, you're you're probably right. All that protein. Jeez. I mean, oh. yeah, I did. That was yesterday at the gym. Oh, I was at gym. I said I. Dude, it's not my fault that cable flies are fun. <laughs> cable flies. Cable flies are pretty nice. I, I love them. Yeah. I don't know. The <laughs> only way I ever do tons of exercise is if I do it in my room. I'm not going to a gym. I'm just... Not to, like, divert the conversation, but while, while I don't think going to the gym is for everybody, if you do start getting into a routine to where, like, you just do only curls or something or push-ups or whatever, if you do go to a gym and use some of the equipment... Yeah. 95% of the time you'll be like where was the where was this where was this when <laughs> I was at home and that's at least how it was for me and a lot of other people will agree with that the gym right. just has good shit you know yeah it's yeah. it's optimal for a reason yeah that is true I just don't like the idea of going there and then there's like first of all you have to go there so it's just the, well, it, that's it is a time. situational and you have to pay and you have to do stuff where it's like if you're doing shit in your room and you have like a pull-up bar i have a pull-up bar it only mm -hmm. fell down once and you know if you have that like frame for doing stuff with like you can do a decent amount of stuff with that that's true i i, I would also say like if it's if someone's trying to especially if it's someone who's new to working out and they they're yeah. thinking about it it's mm -hmm. definitely not like like you know if, if if your option is either work out at home or don't work out at all work out at home and then when you feel like the confidence or like something, then you can think about like, or if you're, if you know, you're not just going to go for like a week and then not go anymore. Yeah. Then you can start like leveling it up. Yeah. If you're not going like that, that's probably no, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I worked out at home for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I put that. the bench press in the living room. <laughs> Jesus. I would work out in the COVID middle of the workout night. era. I'm not even joking. I, I would just play Avengers movies that I've already seen just so there's something on. Yeah. And uh, that fucking dialogue got so ingrained into my brain. You actually like can just some spout of references. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's just Star Wars and Harry Potter. Those are like the series. I no, Avengers is a good idea. Next time I like need to just watch something to like kill time. Avengers like, 1 is I a good one. Marvel films. Dude, I'm not even joking. I've probably seen Age of Ultron probably a fifty times. 
That's an underrated movie. I, I think know. it is. It I think it is. compared to the others. I, yeah. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for Ultron like, in these lines. The Avengers. Ultron's, Ultron's super like, cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're discord. Cool. Disconnect. But it got, Stark's already got them turning the on each other. Because <laughs> this yeah. is also really good. Scream and your entire staff dies. You know, I could have killed you, Helen, the night we met. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Do you expect a thank you note? I expect yeah, you to Marvel know why. Before post Endgame was like so good. It's so disappointing yeah, now. That's, yeah, it's not even debatable. Uh, it's objective. Or like Star Wars. Modern day Marvel like, is trash. Star Wars. Yeah, post, yeah. I was hoping. For episode seven. My friend was like, bro, the Marvel's falling off. It sucks. I was like, no, no, this next one will be good. And it just never was. It just sucks so much <laughs> to see something you like, die, basically. Yeah, well, like, actually, I was New indeed. Guardians of the Galaxy was good. But true, that's, mm -hmm. true. Yeah, that, that was good. But I, I was that, happy to see it good for a time. It, like it had to come to an end at some point, I suppose. I did. By yeah. the way, I, I did. I didn't hate the new Doctor Strange, but I felt like it was just so shallow. Like just random oh, girl so in cool. New York City can just yeah, was... <laughs> make like punch multiverse portals. Like what? It doesn't what? feel yeah, organic. I... It just feels like she popped into existence, and like. Is yeah. able to do that. It's because they are, yeah. they need to be bigger and better and bigger and better because they don't understand like telling a good story, and by doing that, they kind of just invalidate everything that came before. I saw a tweet today so... that was saying that some production studio was thinking about remaking a live action for American Psycho. Like, why? What? It, it doesn't need. It's one. perfect. What do you mean? It, it is it perfectly works. fine. The it word is. Live it action. does what not they need about? it on Aries. They need to remake it. I don't it. understand. Uh, I actually don't get it. You're talking about like mewing and stuff. <laughs> in, I mean, <laughs> stop. In mewing and mocking. Yeah, dude. There's gonna that's be Sigma males in it, and they're gonna freaking look oh, max. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be Sigma so Ridge funny. Mocking. Dude, they're gonna be doing jaws or size in the bathroom. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do need <laughs> with, to remake with that. It, actually, like, honestly. gonna be exercising his camp full tilt. Yeah, maybe I was insane. wrong. Maybe honestly, maybe American Psycho is not a movie you can make today. It's reality now. That's why it was a satire. That movie is so. It good, was. Though. My girlfriend hated it, though. <laughs> oh. It's a great movie. Yeah. You know, all right. You have to understand. There's two it, other but... movies that I think everybody should watch at least once. The other one is Idiocracy by Mike Judge. And what the incredible. And the other one is The Interview. The inter oh, I I still haven't seen it. I need to see it. <laughs> I haven't seen it either. So funny. I just a, know that I mean, Sony Seth got movie. because North Korea really didn't like it, so they literally mm -hmm. got the North Korean hackers to hack Sony and like try to kill the film. Oh my God. Which only made it, which only I'm assuming only made it more popular. It was only good PR. That's insane. They won. Now, to be like, oh, now I have to watch this. I I know that Mike Judge with with Idiocracy, he's talked about regretting uh, not including social media in that movie, mm -hmm. and just details like that that he thought he missed out on. Because if you're if if you don't know the plot of it, the idea of Idiocracy is that. These two people from, I think, like 2008 get put into a time capsule, which is supposed to be for only like five, ten years. But then the building gets demoed and they get buried underneath rubble and they aren't found for like 2000 years or something. Oh, my God. And then by the time like somebody figures out, like somebody finds it and they actually come back, everybody is dumb. Oh yeah, I've seen I everyone I've seen is that. like everyone's yeah. like 40 IQ. It's so funny. Hmm. And they um <laughs> there's a massive cost go. Water got replaced <laughs> with this Gatorade uh so thing called Brondo. And so they started watering <laughs> all the plants with it and it all, everything died. Oh. It's it, it that movie is really funny. The architecture of the buildings and environment is also really funny and I think reflects how those people act like one of the characters is called Frito and he just sits and and he just sits down and watches TV the whole time and one of the shows is called like it's called like ass or something and it's just people just getting hurt and the guys just sitting there like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah I'm not kidding like, it's so funny I am simplifying so like... that scene very heavily but 
It's like, if it's you've like seen the movie, a, you know. a cautionary tale slash satire. Well, it started out as a satire, and people have joked like that it's becoming a documentary. Yeah. But if you've seen the movie, you know. Yeah. 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 Mm. That oh my god, the movie is funny. It stars um, it stars Terry Crews as the president. <laughs> so. Of <course. laughs> I think it was Dax Shepard that played Frito and and uh, Owen Wilson's brother plays the main oh. character. I forget his well, brother's name. I think it's Sam I Wilson. Know. I don't remember. I would say it's a film that you have to watch. That's a thing. I don't really have a knowledge of films. I've watched shit tons of them. But like, I know there's <clears> a film you have to watch. I guess you're gonna say Citizen Kane like, or something. You can't go through life and not have watched Interstellar. Yeah, that's a good one. Any I Christopher like, Nolan movie. Yeah. yeah, just watch all of them. They're all good. Watch it in 70 mil IMAX if you can. So if you live in the US or London, then you can do that. Um, London only. Yeah, no, there's like two in London. There are four like cinemas in the whole of Europe that show 70 millimeter IMAX, which is like the full kind of... Are you saying 17 or 70? 70 millimeter film Mm. IMAX. Yeah, because 70 was Oppenheimer's. Yeah, I have a fr- I have a frame of it, but I think it's at home. But um, I'm massive. guessing everyone here is see- in the call has seen Oppenheimer. I think so. No? I would think Kulluk? so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but, movie, yeah. without spoiling uh, much, that movie is that's one of the most stressful fucking movies I've ever watched. <laughs> no, oh my god, you could just I can feel the stress oh, in yeah. Killian Murphy's performance. Yes. Oh he my very god! Good, definitely, I think yeah, that was one of the ones I watched in seventy mil on the opening day. Uh, I didn't go to Barbie though, but I didn't see yeah. that either. Yeah, if you can see a film in seventy mil, I mean, as I was saying, in Europe it's quite hard because there are four theaters that show it. Two of them are in London, and one's in Liverpool, and the others like somewhere in Belgium. <laughs> and in the US, there's like forty, so. It's all easier there, but apart from that, there's like nothing. Breaking news, the Belgians filled theirs with but, uh, waffles and syrup, so it doesn't work yeah, anymore. I think it, it projects it onto a screen that's like six stories tall, yeah. and it has an equivalent resolution of like 18k. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as lossless as it gets. Yeah, it's like it's on film, and the whole process of them making it is all on film, so it's never made digital. So it's just, it's something else. It's so good. You know what I also recommend? Not for everybody, but almost every Hitchcock movie or any, like one of any. Yeah, Alfred Hitchcock. One, he was one of the greats, one of the great film directors. I recommend Rear Window. I recommend North by Northwest, Psycho. All pretty good. Psycho, I mean, yeah, classic. You know, revolutionized the genre. There are some really that movie are really good. That like movie was so. I love that movie. Psycho is so revolutionary for its time that there, there's an ending scene where they had to have a psychiatrist explain the movie, which is Jeez. probably the, which is the only thing that I think should have been cut. But which movie? Psycho. Psycho. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's because it's meant to be show not tell, but yeah. Well, no, just nothing like that had ever been made into a movie before. Yeah, what, at least at least over in the U.S. And yeah. so, like, it's hard to describe that. Yeah, I guess if that's someone's first experience, it's hard for us to imagine because that was like the first so of that now. movie of its kind. Yeah, it's like yeah. how I it's kind of really... it's like what made Avengers one so good and so revolutionary. It's the same it's idea. How I can't really look back at like two thousand one or something and go, "Yeah, this is awesome." But like, if you were there, I'm sure it would be like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, dude, the fucking the 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 space effects that are honestly some of the shots are better than Star Wars in 1968. Yeah, the fucking shots of space are amazing in that movie. Yeah, and it was made like in the crazy. 60s. Kubrick but is it's just now you're great. watching it and you're like, okay, I've seen shots like this before. I, know I didn't before. think I've that. Seen this before. You want to know why I didn't and think that? Because I didn't think that because I knew when it was filmed. Yeah. So I could still appreciate it. I think I de- definitely some parts of it 
are awesome and then the movie's three hours long so you got to get through the parts of it that aren't as awesome it was made a year before they went to the moon yeah so they got they got space wrong physically <laughs> yeah if you remember that he didn't have his helmet yeah. on and he had to i'm spoiling a fucking whatever 60 year old yeah, movie watch. Two, 2001 you is like you might it might be a bit boring because it's three hours long but it is worth watching it's a long one and it has good composition i also recommend this is like completely different i recommend the wolf of wall street too that's good if yeah. we're talking about good movies great movie scorsese yeah, that, one's, that one's great what does yeah. Kulik recommend movie wise you guys have pretty much hit everything i would recommend um oh what is it <laughs> I mean, the, the Christopher Nolan movies are all great. I mean, hmm. Wolf of Wall Street, American Psycho, those are classics. Um, yep. That's another good one. Shawshank Redemption is a good one. That's a classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, yeah, definitely good. Um, you know, I'm a sucker for the, the Star Wars, at least like the original three. And, you know, I, I like the, the prequels as well. Yeah. The prequels oh, are overrated. The prequels are so underrated. They, they are. I think I think they had like a comeback in the last couple of years for people. On, yeah, at least I saw a lot of. Even. Yeah, I saw a lot of video essays. Really, you know what? These things weren't that bad, guys. Come on. Yeah, well, I saw a twelve-hour video essay on the Phantom Menace. <laughs> like recommend it, like Jesus Christ. The Phantom Menace for me is just solely carried by that ending bit with the duel of the face. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was like, blown away by that as a kid. That score as well. It's just yeah. Like, Obviously, yes. Revenge of the Sith is the best prequel. Revenge, but... oh, oh yeah, that's my favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, I. I that I might be mine too. Sucker for the lightsaber duels, dude. I think yeah. it does suffer a little bit from some of the dialogue being a little bad. Like no, the um, dialogue is so good because it's so quotable. You remember <laughs> well, all I mean, the it, it could be quotable if it was better too. It's like I or whatever. It's like I think. What is it? I don't know. I think the, Just like he says, I think the I Sith are evil. You. I think the Jedi are evil. Then you are lost. Yeah. <laughs> the last part of that is it goes crazy. You are lost. That's fine. No, but him just I going. I think this guy's lost. evil. I think this guy's evil. Then yeah, like well, huh? then you are lost. That just does. That just no. that dialogue kind of sucks. But watching yeah, it as like, an adult, it, to be you honest, you wouldn't have really remembered it though if it was yeah, like just <laughs> said more naturally. <laughs> it's just like. Hayden Christensen made a comeback in that one too, because you could tell he was trying. He was finding his footing in the first two movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Third one, he was just like, "Yeah, I know how to do this." I think he started. That's when he started nailing the look of Anakin. Yeah. yeah Anakin does have an iconic look. Gotta give him that. Yeah. He's yeah. Ripped out. I'm not really a massive he's... Star Wars nerd, but I can appreciate those movies. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Third one's definitely the best for me. I think I like the the originals like. The twist in Empire Strikes Back would have been crazy. Like I can't even imagine what that must have been like. <laughs> or like I think when it came out, like no one had ever seen a movie like it before, like the first Star Wars. Mm. Uh, yeah. Like there had been like two thousand and one, but then there was Star Wars, which was also just way ahead of its time. Well the the pacing's also completely different. Oh mm. yeah. In terms of special effects. What are they talking about? What, what like do they mean? What happened? Song. Chad? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's a problem. Is there an issue? Where is the chat? Oh, chat. Okay, whatever. Chat. Oh, the chat died. Chat That's weird. Chat. Is there? Is there an issue? No one knows what happened. No issue. Okay. Nothing. I think the chat just reset. That's that's weird. Nothing happened. Okay, people just chat like... just got wiped. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that was weird. <sighs> we have gone forty minutes into your studying time. <laughs> yeah, perhaps, perhaps I should head out. Yeah. I gotta go well, outside. I don't know. If you feel like <laughs> it is time, then is it time? Yeah, I should, should probably call it here. Yeah. All right. Well, oops. <laughs> well, you see you that rookie for... mistake? <laughs> oh, rookie mistake. Oh, Jesus. Rookie mistake. That's Ooh. fine. <laughs> That's the right yeah. one. Yeah, this we is, use OBS. Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm, I am. Um, that went better than I thought, to be real, because 
I didn't think I got enough good questions, but it ended up being fine. Yeah. yeah. We had some, and uh, I kind of clocked out near the end a little bit. <laughs> I, I was getting tired. I just kind of started hey, sitting we, we got off topic, but we brought I opened back. my phone while you were talking about your advice to creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, we're still streaming, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just okay. honestly, I just kind of started looking at my phone when you were talking about that, and <laughs> for like, yapping, bro. I got tired to the point. Where, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> no, because you don't understand. Because you don't. Well, you, no, actually, you did make stuff. It applies to you as well. You made mm-hmm. levels. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you made that like one level. I made some. Do people in chat are actually schizophrenic? What's going on? Nothing is happening. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Okay, I think it's, it, it's that guy's not, internet. That guy sorry. must be on dial-up or something. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Bro, you gotta like, you gotta reset it. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. What was the like? You made a level before. You have two rated levels. I do. So, I kind of yeah. forgot about that. You forgot what was it? What were their names? Something dive, deep swim and shallow dive. Deep swim, shallow dive. Yes, those are both good levels. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. Okay. We're being gaslit. Chat is schizophrenic. <laughs> we're about to go because Cook needs to study linear algebra. Yeah, I am. I am cooked. It is over for me. Who's cooking? So I gotta go places. outside. <laughs> you gotta, gotta go, go touch grass after that. Orange. I'm going outside today. Fuck. <laughs> I meant. Yeah, oh, the sun's no, no, kind of no, going I down. I went, I I went to the shops. So. Part of my part of the ceiling in my garage caved in. I have to do something about that. God. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, bro. Cool. I, it was just the drywall. I think there's a leak somewhere, but that's still Your pretty house bad. Is collapsing. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to fix my house. It's collapsing, guys. Anyway. <laughs> I don't I have I don't have time to get into that. Um, <laughs> oh. Thought this was gonna be mid. I don't hey. appreciate, I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me right now, quite frankly. Oh my god. All right, well, um, yeah. If anyone would like to donate to a good cause for me to fix my ceiling, I guess. <laughs> more than yeah. welcome to, well, but uh, we've already had that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you again. Um that money is gonna go towards fixing my attic. I yeah. guess. <laughs> thank you very much for the generous donation. Thank, yeah, thank you, thank you a lot. Gen- not genuinely. Been for ages, but yeah, damn that is Genuinely, like thank crazy. you for the 40 gifted subs and like $150. It actually yeah. means a lot. You have no idea. Thank you for my one as well. I got a membership now. What am I going to do with it? You can send smooth brain emojis. Yeah. Okay, wait. We're longing this out. We need to end. All right. Oh, all thank right. you for $2, yeah. Bubba Diggs. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for Jeez. gaslighting me. I thought there was an issue. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Thank you guys this for having me. This has been episode 12. Thank you. If you want to yeah, come back on at any time, just let us know. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Or if you want to come on in conjunction to someone else, we can make something work. Cool. I'll let you guys know. Yeah. This is fun. Well, this has right. been episode 12. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun making clips out of this, hopefully, if I have time. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I will see everybody later. All right. Yeah. See you, everyone. Bye.